Save half off or more on footwear from Nike, Asics, Brooks, New Balance, Keen, and Chaco. Save half off or more on apparel from the North Face, Columbia, Patagonia, Mountain Khaki, Cavoo, Under Armour, Nike, and many more. Feltner's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main Street in Russellville. Open 930 to 6, Monday through Saturday. All sales during this special savings event are final. First State Bank is proud to serve our community. A community made of hard-working friends and neighbors. Folks who make our community better. You're why we offer personal helpful service and convenient digital tools. You make our town what it is. Deeply rooted, community driven. First State Bank. These are our stomping grounds. Visit fsbmybank.com to learn more. Member FDIC. A lot goes into taking care of your property. You need equipment with more reliability, durability, and versatility built in. Like number one selling Kubota BX and L-Series compact tractors. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut. And sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Visit your local Kubota dealer for a demo today. In the River Valley, see River Valley Tractor on Weir Road in Russellville. For over 70 years, Old South Restaurant at 1330 East Main Street in Russellville has been faithfully served. Please stand as you are able.
Field in Russellville. It's time for Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys football. Tonight, the Wonder Boys host the East Central University Tigers in great American Conference action here on River Country KCJC. Good evening, friends. My name is Sam Straysner. Thank you for joining us. Kelly Davis will be along in just a few minutes. This is a matchup of two teams trying to avoid an 0 and 2 start. Arkansas Tech went to Durant nine days ago and lost to Southeastern Oklahoma State 41 to 34 in double overtime. That same evening, East Central was taken down in its home opener by visiting Harding University 29 to 12. If recent history is an indicator, we can anticipate a close game tonight. The last three meetings between Tech and ECU have all been decided by three points or less. The Tigers have won all three, including a 13 to 10 victory over the Wonder Boys last season. Thank you for joining us from the Alathus Realty broadcast booth. We will take a one minute break and then return with the starting lineups. You're listening to Arkansas Tech football. guests from Ada, Oklahoma, the East Central University Tigers under the direction of head coach, inter, of interim head coach, I should say, Chris McCullough. McCullough succeeded Al Johnson, who left in March. McCullough has been on the ECU staff since 2018 and was offensive coordinator at the time he was elevated to interim head coach. On offense for the Tigers, the quarterback is Kenny Hernseer, a six foot, 195 pound junior from Needville, Texas. The running back, Miles Davis, 5'9", 170, junior, Lawton, Oklahoma. The wide receivers, Jake Berry, 6'5", 210, sophomore, Purcell, Oklahoma. Greg Howell, 5'10", 170, senior, Chicago, Illinois. And Jackson McFarlane, 5'10", 190, senior, Ada, Oklahoma. 
Jackson Allen is the tight end for East Central, 6'4", 245, sophomore, Marion, Texas. And then on the offensive line, the left tackle is Anthony Wright, 6'4", 320, junior, Oklahoma City. The left guard is Tristan Willis, 6'3", 290, junior, Mount Vernon, Washington. Max Johnson is the center for ECU, 6'2", 300, a junior from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Nathaniel Caballero is the right guard, 6'2", 300, a senior from Benbrook, Texas. And the right tackle out of Fort Worth, Texas is Colby Thomas, 6'3", 290, a sophomore. On defense, the defensive ends for East Central are Yime Oyasanye, a 6'2", 280-pound sophomore from Norman, Oklahoma, along with Hayden Miller, 6'2", 280, a sophomore from Sepulpa, Oklahoma. The nose tackle is Shamara Cobb, six foot 280, a senior from Cape Coral, Florida. At linebacker, it is Michael Onwo Zaruke, a 6'1", 230-pound sophomore from Allen, Texas. Kevon Curry, 6'1", 230, sophomore, Oklahoma City. Devon Rausch, 6'1", 215, junior, Houston, Texas. And the fourth linebacker, Orlando Brown, 6'1", 215, senior, Gulfport, Mississippi. In the secondary for East Central University, the cornerbacks are Jalen Baldwin, 6'1", 190, senior, Houston, Texas. And Keontae Lusk, 6'1", 185, junior, Fort Worth, Texas. The safeties are Cameron Jones, 6 foot 200, senior, Sulphur, Oklahoma, and Cody Alexander, 6 foot 200, senior, Jefferson City, Missouri. Now the starters for the homestanding Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys, led by Kyle Shipp, who is in his third season as the head football coach at Arkansas Tech. On the offensive side of the ball, the quarterback is Tay Gatewood, 6 foot 220, a junior from Fort Smith. Devontae Dean is the running back, 6 foot 225, senior West Memphis. The wide receivers are Jorion Chase, 6 foot 185, sophomore Marion. Adam Cousins, 5'11", 180, sophomore from Austin, Texas, and Matthew Rivera, 5'10", 180, sophomore, Jacksonville, Florida. The tight end is Jordan Eddington, 6'2", 260, sophomore, Little Rock. And then on the offensive line, the left tackle is Jason Richardson, 6'5", 320, sophomore, Lake Charles, Louisiana. Garrett Jaster is the left guard, 6'3", 315, senior, Sugarland, Texas. Jacob Cato is the center, 6'2", 290, senior, Miami, Florida. Cameron Hathaway is at right guard, 6'2", 280, sophomore, South Lake, Texas. And the right tackle is Larry Clark, 6'3", 345, a senior from Luxora. On the defensive side of the ball for Arkansas Tech in a 3-3-5 alignment, the defensive linemen are Davion Smith, 5'11", 255, senior, Mesquite, Texas, Trey White, 6'1", 300, sophomore, Shreveport, Louisiana, and Carson Holloway, 6'2", 270, sophomore, Richmond, Texas. The linebackers for Arkansas Tech are Kobe Edwards, 6'1", 230, senior, Burnett, Texas, Matthew Minix, 6'2", 235, sophomore, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Christian Cole, 6'1", 220, senior, Soxie, Texas. The cornerbacks for Arkansas Tech, Trayon Jones, 5'9", 170, sophomore, Shreveport, Louisiana, and Matt Arnold, 6'1", 180, sophomore, Texarkana, Texas. The safeties, Javon Love, 6'1", 210, sophomore, Carbondale, Illinois, and Jordan Furch, 5'11", 185, senior, from Paris, Texas. The rover is Jaden Duhart, 5'10", 170, a freshman from Texarkana, Texas. Those are the starters for the Wonder Boys and the Tigers. Here at the Alathus Realty Broadcast booth, we will take a one-minute break plus a station ID and then come back for the opening kickoff between Arkansas Tech and East Central. This is Wonder Boys football. This is Todd, market president with Centennial Bank. We're more than just a financial institution. We pride ourselves on being community focused and connected. Hi, I'm Charlie, business development officer with Centennial Bank. As a lifelong resident of the River Valley, I am proud to be part of a team that brings passion, pride, and dedication to our communities. Supporting our community starts with people like myself and Charlie, who know and love the River Valley area, which is why we're always banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank is proud to support the place we call home. NMLS number 564245, member FDIC. Equal 
affordable housing. Alethus Realty is proud to support all of our local student athletes. At Alethus Realty, we believe the community comes first, and there's nothing quite like community than cheering on your favorite team from the stands. Alethus Realty is committed to provide our area with gold standard service in every aspect of your real estate transaction. So whether you're loading up to go to the game or settling in for an evening at home, you can rest assured Alethus Realty is taking care of you. Call us today, 479-968-5668. Alethus Realty, we put the real in real estate. Find us on Facebook today. This is Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys Football on River Country 102.3 KCJC, Dartano, Russellville. Back with you in the Alethus Realty broadcast booth from Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville, the first home game of the 107th season of Arkansas Tech football. And tonight's broadcast is dedicated to the memory of a great wonder boy, Billy Jean Davis, who passed away nine days ago, uh, an all-conference performer for the Wonder Boys in the mid-1950s, uh, better known as the killer in, in the Agricola yearbook of those days. And he also happens to be the father of one Kelly Davis. And uh, Kelly, I just want you to pass along that uh, what you already know based on what we saw at the visitation and at the funeral earlier this week. There's a whole lot of folks that have had you and your family uh, in their thoughts this last week and a half. And uh, I tell you what, the, the legacy that your dad left behind was pretty clear uh, at the visitation on Tuesday night. Well, I, pr I appreciate that, Sam. You, I didn't know you was going to make me cry tonight, but that's, that's okay. Now let's get a Wonder Boy victory. But I do appreciate that. I appreciate everybody that came out to the visitation and the graveside service. And it was what a tribute to a guy who was – uh, always, always a wonder boy and always was going to be. He was a lifelonger as well as a bulldog and a cyclone. And I guess we can throw whirlwinds in there as well. But, but anyway, let's go out and get a win for him tonight. How about it? Let's win it for the killer. Jesus Zazumbo will kick it away for Arkansas Tech University. The Wonder Boys wearing the dark green uniform tops, the white pants, and the gold helmets. They kick it away to East Central, white uniform tops and bottoms, and black helmets. The opening kick is received at the 12-yard line by Greg Howell. Now he's running east and west toward the far boundary, and he is stacked up at the 15-yard line and taken down there. He started running east and west, and that is never a good idea among the first Wonder Boys on the scene. To get him down to the turf was Ben Stegall, a freshman out of Germantown, Tennessee and East Central will start with poor field position, first and 10 from its own 15-yard line. The Tigers, a year ago, were seventh in the Great American Conference in total offense at 372 yards per game. It's really hard to judge must much from East Central's first game this year because they were going up against Harding University. And if you know much about the Bison's defense, uh, they will skew your numbers a little bit toward the negative side. They are better than what their numbers showed from a week ago. Hearns here on first down, play action fake, avoids the rush, able to unload toward the far boundary, but he was very nearly taken down for a sack coming through on a corner blitz for Arkansas Tech was Trayon Jones, and he forced Hearns here to throw that one wildly and incomplete toward the far side. It'll be second down and 10 for East Central. Good job, Trayon. 5'9", 170, very fast. Kenny Hearns here, the quarterback for East Central, was seventh in the Great American Conference in total offense a year ago at just under 229 yards per game. He either ran it or passed it on 44 of East Central's 58 offensive snaps last week. He fakes a pitch, throws it across the middle, and it is incomplete in and out of the hands of his intended receiver over the 30-yard line. He was trying to find Laquan Wells, but there with the coverage for Arkansas Tech was Kevin Carlton, a sophomore defensive back for the Wonder Boys out of New Orleans, Louisiana, and a transfer from Upper Iowa. And once it was Wells getting his hands on that football. At that point, he's fair game. And once he starts juggling, it, Carlton can do about whatever he wants to, yeah, to keep him from and, catching and it. He prevented and he him did. from moving forward to keep making that catch. He, he, he had his eyes on it, but he held him back. Good job. So now it is third down and 10 for East Central. Hearn Sears sets to throw toward the near side. Pass is caught by Miles Davis, his running back. Davis will have the first down. He is smacked at the 31-yard line, but it'll be a gain of about 15 for East Central, maybe even 16 up to the 32-yard line, and it'll be enough for the first down on the pass from Hearn Sear to his running back, Miles Davis. Davis, a year ago, was 10th in the Great American Conference in rushing at 56 yards per game. So it's first and 10 East Central after the Tigers convert on third down. They were 40 2% on third down conversions last year. Hearns here giving some instructions to his running back, Miles Davis, here ahead of this first down and 10 play 
for the Tigers. Man in motion is Jaquan Lincoln. It's a designed quarterback run, and the Wonder Boys were ready for it there to wrap up. Hernseer is Davion Smith for Arkansas Tech University. Smith, who came into the night for the Wonder Boys with 54 career tackles, including four a week ago against Southeastern Oklahoma State, makes the stop on Hernseer for no gain, and it is second down and 10 for East Central. Some of that good senior leadership right there. Hernseer will again work from the shotgun. Two receivers to his right, one to his left. East Central moving from our right to our left toward the north goal and the whole building. Good crowd here tonight at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field. We'd be glad for you to come join us. Beautiful weather. 13 minutes and 26 seconds to go in the first quarter. No score, first possession of the game belongs to East Central. Hernseer hands it off to Miles Davis. Davis between the tackles, over the 35 and up to the 36 yard line, a pickup of four. It'll be second down and six. Or I should say third down and six now for the Tigers. Yeah. After Hearns here ran for no gain on first down, and now Davis goes for four on second down. Boy, at any level, it's so tough to get yardage between the tackles, but you got to keep the defense honest. East Central has already converted a third down and 10. This will be third down and six from their own 36. They need to get to their own 42-yard line to pick up the first down. Hernseer has the snap, looking right, throwing right, has a man, catches made for the first down, reception made by Jackson McFarlane, and he is forced out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Gain on the play of 11 yards and an East Central University first down. Tigers now two for two on third down conversions. Hernseer. Uh, very much of a dual threat quarterback, but he's shown the ability to throw it across the field on a couple of occasions here with a very strong arm. Yeah, East Central, they are just finding the open receiver right now. Has too much time, put a little bit more pressure on him. Hernseer a year ago passed for 2,175 yards, 18 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, completed 53% of his passes, now whistles before the snap of the football. It looks like the football itself may have an issue. The umpire says we're going to throw that one out and try a different one. Indicating to the ball boy on the far side that perhaps that one needs to be taken out of service. It, was that or it might have been an Arkansas Tech ball. It could have been. That they put in by mistake. So it's first and 10 for East Central from its own 47 yard line. 12 minutes to go in the first quarter, no score. Between the Wonder Boys and East Central, play action fake. Hearns here all day to throw, unloads deep, uh, down the middle, and it is too far beyond the reach of his intended receiver, Josh Little, there with the coverage for Arkansas Tech. And forcing that pass to be thrown long was Arkansas Tech cornerback Matt Arnold. And so the incompletion will make it second down and 10 for East Central from its own 47-yard line. 11 minutes, 51 seconds to go in the first quarter. Mentioned this is the 24th all-time meeting between the Wonder Boys and the Tigers. East Central leads the all-time series 14 to nine, including a seven and three record against the Wonder Boys during the Great American Conference era. The series dates all the way back to 1926 when Arkansas Tech won the first meeting 28 to nothing in Ada. Screen pass complete to Josh Little. Little down the near boundary, surrounded by two Wonder Boys and taken down at the 41 yard line. Maybe even, yeah, they're gonna spot him down at the 41 of Arkansas Tech. Either way, it's a big plenty for an East Central first down as the Tigers move the chains once more. They are now in Arkansas Tech territory for the first time this evening. Hearn seared directing this Tiger offense down the field. They've got it first and 10 at their own 41, or I should say at the Arkansas Tech 41 now. After the completed pass to Josh Little. Two receivers right, one to the left for Hernseer. Has the snap, hands to Miles Davis. Davis tries up the middle, and the Wonder Boys have it clogged up pretty good. They will tackle him at the 38-yard line after a gain of three. Among the Wonder Boys in on that stop, Matthew Minix, along with Trey White. And it'll bring up second down and seven for East Central from the Arkansas Tech 38-yard line. 10 minutes, 55 seconds to play, first quarter. No score between Arkansas Tech and East Central. One of six Great American Conference football games being played tonight as we make our way through the evening. Kelly Davis will have a close eye on the A Better Way Realty GAC scoreboard. Hearns here fakes the handoff. Rolls to his right, under pressure from Minnick, still running, throwing. It is batted away, incomplete. Victor Hill there to provide the coverage and bat that one away from the intended receiver for East Central University, Walter Brooks. And the incompletion will bring up yet another third down for the Tigers, this time from the Arkansas Tech 38-yard line. It's third down and seven. 
They need to make their way down to the 31 yard line in order to pick up the first down. But as you might surmise from this position on the field, it's four down territory if they don't happen to get it on third down. Wonder Boy showing some uh, pressure. Now East Central seeing that may be changing the play. Hearns here checks to his sideline. Play clock is at seven. 10.34 to go in the opening quarter, no score. Wonder Boys drop back, they will rush just four. Pass to the far side is incomplete, looking for McFarland, but the pass was out of bounds. Coverage provided for Arkansas Tech by Trayon Jones. And now on fourth down and seven, we'll see how East Central wants to play it. And as expected, they will go for it. Yep, They're, didn't even think about it. The Tigers last season on fourth down were successful on 11 of 23 tries just under 50%, that ranked seventh in terms of fourth down conversion efficiency among the 12 members of the great American Conference. Hearns here on fourth down and seven, brings a man in motion, sets to throw, has time, hit as he releases though, and it's incomplete. They're arriving at just the right moment to apply the pressure for Arkansas Tech. Layman Howell, also the getting there for Arkansas Tech, Christian Cole, and that combination forcing Hearns here to pass high, incomplete, and it's a turnover on downs that gives the football to Arkansas Tech for the first time tonight with 10 minutes and 23 seconds to play in the opening quarter, and the scoreless tie still intact. Pass along congratulations to the Golden Suns volleyball team that picked up a couple of wins this week, including a great American Conference victory over Southern Arkansas on Tuesday night as head coach Kara Coleman and the Golden Suns opened conference play with a win, went two and one overall this week. And I know that bunch was glad to be back at Tucker Coliseum. Oh, absolutely. They had a great match last night. Uh, got a revenge on UA Pine Bluff 3-0. Had a tough Quincy team today that came in and they are really good. Gatewood throws deep on first down, and we're gonna have a penalty flag there, fellas. Oh my goodness. We're not gonna have a penalty flag, despite the fact that the defensive oh, back reached out and grabbed the foot. He, he tackled him. Reached out and grabbed the foot of the intended receiver for Arkansas Tech, Matthew Rivera, and no penalty flag for pass interference is thrown. Oh, mercy. It brings up second down and 10 for Arkansas Tech from its own 38 yard line. I believe they missed that one. Two receivers left, Mason Ross and Adam Cousins. One receiver right for Arkansas Tech. That is Jorion Chase. Tay Gatewood, the Arkansas Tech quarterback, after narrowly missing on first down, now we have whistles and a false start against Arkansas Tech, and so that will back the Wonder Boys up to their own 33-yard line. And from there, it'll be second down and 15. Wonder Boys in the season opener against Southeastern Oklahoma State were penalized nine times for 70 yards just over their season average from a year ago when the Wonder Boys were right in the middle of the pack in the Great American Conference in terms of penalty yards per game at 61.7. Tay Gatewood checks to the near sideline. Ryan Trevathan, the offensive coordinator for Arkansas Tech. Two receivers left, one to the right. As Tay Gatewood awaits the snap. Fakes the handoff, throws near side. It is too tall for his intended receiver, Jorion Chase. And it brings up third down and 15, and you have to wonder what, not necessarily going through the mind of Tay Gatewood right now, but perhaps in the days leading up to the game, as he is facing an East Central program that he was a member of for three years. He appeared in 18 games at quarterback for the Tigers and was a member of their roster a year ago. So when he looks across the field tonight, he will see a lot of familiar faces. Yes, he will. I don't, I don't think he'll have uh, many nerves about that, but maybe that will help him in the long run because he'll know what they can do and not do. Short pass complete to Rivera on third and 15, and it's going to go for a loss as he was wrapped up by one of the best football players in the Great American Conference, Jalen Baldwin. Baldwin a year ago led the GAC in passes deflected and interceptions. That time he comes through to make the tackle for a loss back to the 29-yard line. And on fourth down and 19, Arkansas Tech will be compelled to punt it away. Aaron Wynn. A week ago in the season opener, punted six times for an average of 43.3 yards per punt. And more importantly, he had four punts down inside the 20 and no touchbacks. He did a great job flipping the field and putting Southeastern in some negative situations. It's a wobbly end over end kick this time that will land at the East Central 35, taken on a hop at the 26 by McFarlane. Jackson McFarlane racing toward the near side and forced out of bounds by Davion Smith of Arkansas Tech. 
They will have the return man out at the 39-yard line, a punt return of 13 yards for Jackson McFarlane, and timeout on the field. Nine minutes and 14 seconds to go in the first quarter. Arkansas Tech 0, East Central 0. From the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we take a one-minute break. You're listening to the Wonder Boys. First down and 10 for East With the football for the first time, turned it over on downs in Arkansas Tech territory the first time. Kenny Hearns here hands it off on first down. Running room to the left for his running back, spinning out near midfield with it for East Central is Namir Herod. Herod is tackled for Arkansas Tech by Stanley Bentley. They will spot Herod down at the East Central 49-yard line, exactly 10 yards on that run, the first carry of the night for Herod, and it is first down and 10 for East Central from its own 49-yard line. Herod already exceeding his rushing total from a week ago against Harding when he had three carries for seven yards. The Tigers averaged just 0.6 yards per rushing attempt against that vaunted Harding defense. Pass complete to the far sideline. It'll go for a short gain for East Central. Reception made by Greg Howell, and he is tackled over near the far boundary for Arkansas Tech by, among others, Christian Cole and Javon Love. They make the stop at the Arkansas Tech 46-yard line, a gain of five, and it'll be second down and five for East Central. Eight minutes and 21 seconds to go in the first quarter. No score from Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville. Hearns here rolls the pocket to his left, throws that way, and the catch is made by East Central's Jake Berry, a sophomore wide receiver, sliding down with it at the Arkansas Tech 39-yard line. It is a gain of seven. It is another East Central first down, the fifth of the game for the Tigers. Kenny Hearns here, now six of 12 through the air for 51 yards. And it is first and 10 Tigers at the Arkansas Tech 39. This is about the spot on the field where the Tigers' last possession bogged down. Hand off to Herod. Herod goes to the right side, spins off the tackler, stays on his feet, down to the 32-yard line, a gain of seven for East Central University. Tackle made for Arkansas Tech by Javon Love once again. And it'll be second down and three for East Central from the Arkansas Tech 32-yard line. Tigers clearly intent upon improving upon their rushing numbers from a week ago, and they are doing so so far on this drive, especially with Namir Herod carrying the football. Second down and three. Hearns here, now more or less running for his life under a heavy rush from four men, and he just spikes that one into the turf in front of his intended receiver to avoid the intentional grounding call. But four Wonder Boys, they're applying pressure among the Arkansas Tech defenders who are bearing down on him were Carson Holloway, Trey White, and Davion Smith all pursuing Hearns here and forcing him to throw that one away to bring up third down and three now for the Tigers. The line of scrimmage remains the Arkansas Tech 32. East Central is two out of three on third down conversion tries so far tonight. Seven minutes, 10 seconds to go. First quarter, Arkansas Tech and East Central scoreless from Russellville. So far, the rain has eluded us. There's a bit of a rainbow off to the east. Kenny Hearns here awaits the snap on third down and three, fakes the pitch, he will keep it, waits for the block to develop in front of him, and that will allow him to pick up the first down on a gain of four to the Arkansas Tech 28-yard line. Tackle made for Arkansas Tech by Lehman Howell. Also helping out was Matthew Minix for Arkansas Tech. Minix came into tonight's play for Arkansas Tech with 49 career tackles. He made 41 a year ago 
as a sophomore, and he had eight stops against Southeastern Oklahoma State in the 2022 season opener. It's first down and 10 for East Central at the Arkansas Tech 28 yard line. East Central now after that play with 79 yards of total offense compared to minus four for Tech. Hearns here throws, catches made at the 20 yard line, bit of a pick play and they caught it. Yeah. They will call the offensive pass interference against yeah. East Central as they ran a pick play Laquan to get Laquan Wells, Wells open. Wells made the reception and took the football down to the 17 yard line of Arkansas Tech for what would have been an 11 yard gain, but they surely have this penalty against East Central for what would be termed in basketball as an illegal moving screen. I wouldn't think that, that was kind of a Obvious call. I'm not sure what they're all huddled up. Five officials over there talking about it. Here's a good rule of thumb, Kelly. Is he trying to get talked out of it? Here's a good rule of thumb. If I'm yes. able to spot it, it was pretty obvious. And uh, it, it was pretty obvious. We'll see what our referee has to say. Pass interference, offense number 13. They got it. 15 yes. yards to the previous They got the pass spot. interference. Michael Caton is our lead referee here tonight and he is the white hat informing us of all the calls tonight and so that pass interference call against East Central will move the football back to the Arkansas Tech 43 yard line and from there it'll be first down and 25 you don't see very many offensive pass interference calls but they sure can derail a drive yeah cannot be blocking downfield like that before the pass first and 25 oh, is a tough nut 25. to crack we'll see how the Tigers fare here as they will operate from the Arkansas Tech 43-yard line. Hearn Sear in the shotgun. He's 5 out of 12 passing for 51 yards. Takes the snap, has time, unloads deep down the middle for McFarland. It is beyond his reach. Double coverage there for Arkansas Tech by Stanley Bentley and Trayon Jones. They force the incompletion. It'll bring up second down and 25 for East Central. Yeah, he laid him pretty good that time. I'm not sure if, even if he... Uh, not been uh, tangled up in that if he didn't caught it. Six minutes and six seconds to go in the first quarter. Arkansas Tech and East Central scoreless. Want to pass along appreciation to everyone who joined us during the pregame ceremony during which we introduced the next campus ambassador at Arkansas Tech University, Jerry Charles Young II. He was very enthusiastic in his response to the greeting from the Arkansas Tech family. Hearnseer runs it up the middle on second down and 25, and because of Trey White, he will get absolutely nothing. The sophomore defensive lineman for Arkansas Tech out of Shreveport, Louisiana, a graduate of Evangel Christian High School, making the stop for little, if any, gain, and it will be third down and very long now for East Central. If you'd like to see the first photo of Jerry Charles Young II and read an article about him, you can go right now to arkansastechnews.com and learn more about the young man who will become campus ambassador at Arkansas Tech as of Saturday, October the 1st. I wish I had that much energy. Me too, especially since I'm having to chase him <laughs> part of the time. <laughs> Third and 25 for East Central. Hearnseer takes the snap. He looks to the far side and will underthrow his intended receiver, again looking for Jackson McFarland. And as we predicted, that offensive pass interference call did derail the East Central drive. It is fourth and 25, and the Tigers will have to punt it away twice. East Central has been able to move the football. They've picked up six first downs on their first two possessions, but on both occasions, the Arkansas Tech defense orchestrated the old bend, but do not break. i tell you what, that penalty sure did help. Did not hurt a thing. On to punt it away for East Central University is Reese Connor. He is a sophomore punter for the Tigers. He punted seven times for an average of 39.9 yards per punt against Harding. He and did his job. Fair catch is made by Adam Cousins at the 12 yard line. It is a punt of 30 yards and there is timeout at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field. Five minutes and eight seconds to go. First quarter, no score in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth. We take a one minute break. This is Wonder Boys football. It's that time of year again to start thinking about football games this season and we'll give fans the ability to purchase tickets in advance and on game days in a secure and contactless way. Digital tickets are for sale exclusively online at ArkansasTechSports.com slash tickets or through a mobile device by using the Hometown Fan app which is available for free on both the Apple App Store and Google Play.
crowd here tonight. If you weren't able to make it tonight, you get another chance next Saturday. The Wonder Boys will be home again, and the vaunted Washita Baptist Tigers will be the opponent yes. one week from tonight here in Russellville. Join us. It's family day. Tay Gatewood is the quarterback again for Arkansas Tech. Second offensive possession of the night for the Wonder Boys. Gatewood will hand it off, trying to run around left end is Deion Simmons, but he is smacked down. There to greet him rather rudely was Cody Alexander, a senior defensive back for East Central, and he makes the stop at the 12-yard line for no gain, and it'll be second down and 10 for Arkansas Tech. Pretty good size for a safety, six foot, 200 pounds. Mercy. The Tigers were really good defensively a year ago, fourth in the league in total defense, allowing just 371 yards of total offense per game to their opponents. Deion Simmons stays in as the running back on second down and 10. Tay Gatewood fakes to him, looking to throw under pressure, rolling to his right, still rolling, still rolling. He's heading toward the boundary, throws, and it is in and out of the hands of his intended receiver, Jorion Chase, up near the 25-yard line. And the incompletion will make it third down and 10. Arkansas Tech is 0 for 1 on third down conversions so far tonight. Third down is a category in which the Wonder Boys excelled a year ago, 48.6%. That was the fourth best third down conversion rate in the Great American Conference in 2021. The Wonder Boys got off to a great start in third down conversions against Southeastern Oklahoma State, picked up three out of their first four, but after that, just one of their last 12 and finished four of 16 on third down conversions against the Savage Storm. On third down and 10, Gatewood hit as he throws, and it is incomplete just beyond the reach of Mason Ross. It was also just beyond the reach of Amir Muhammad, a linebacker for East Central. He had about equal shot at that football as they had good pressure once again on Tay Gatewood, hit as he released. And really, all in all, you're pretty happy as an Arkansas Tech fan to see that one find the turf. Yeah, we sure need to see a first down or two here because keep that defense off the field for a little bit. Stands to be good field position for East Central unless Aaron Wynn can get away one of his patented boomers. Line of scrimmage is the Arkansas Tech 12. Snap is on point, wins, punt is away. He was under pressure, a bit off the side of his foot. It lands at the 30-yard line, takes an Arkansas Tech bounce and roll out over the 45-yard line, still rolling out near midfield. It will come to rest at the 49-yard line of Arkansas Tech. There is a penalty flag down, though. Were it to stand, the punt would be a 37-yarder. It's in the area of holding by one of the teams. Two officials getting together to talk it over. I want to remind you about the Athletics Hall of Fame induction banquet next Friday night at Tucker Coliseum. The social hour will begin at 5 p.m. and then the induction ceremony itself will begin at 6 p.m. next Friday night at Tucker Coliseum. I haven't had a chance to visit with Abby Davis, our director of athletics, the last couple days and get an update from her on whether or not there are still any tickets remaining. But you can reach out to the Department of Athletics on Monday morning and they'll let you know if there are any. Talking to Amy Anderson, I think there are a few left, not many, but give them a call. So that'll be next Friday night at Tucker Coliseum. And I'm very proud to say that among the inductees is the gentleman to my left, Mr. Kelly Davis. Appreciate that. I, I, I tried to correct them of the typo, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't take it. All-America kicker at Arkansas Tech some years ago. No need to mention how many years ago. Well, say many, many, <laughs> many. First down and 10 for East Central from the Arkansas Tech 49-yard line. They just came out with the face mask. <laughs> the helmet was not leather. Kenny Hearns here on first down. Hounds it off to a very good-sized young man as his running back this time. That's Jawan King. And King's first carry of the night will go for not as the Arkansas Tech defense was equal to the chore. There to wrap him up for little, if any, gain. Matthew Minix along with Jaden Brown. I believe it's the first chance we've had to call Jaden's name this year. He is 6'2", 250, a freshman defensive lineman out of Waco, Texas, a transfer from Arkansas State. And he and Minix make the stop for no gain. It's second down and 10 for East Central from the Arkansas Tech 49. Hernseer wants to throw, far side, catch made by Jackson McFarlane. He is wrapped up, looks to be just short of the line to gain, and he is. It is a pickup of nine to the 49, or to the 40 yard line. Good open field tackle that time for Arkansas Tech University making the stop. It was Isaac Davis, a sophomore of Van Buren, and stopping McFarlane a yard short of the first down marker. So it's third and one for the Tigers. Hearns here goes to the quick hard count, trying to draw the Wonder Boys offside. No such luck, and so he checks to the far side for the actual play call. Now on third and one, Hearns here awaits the snap. He has it, 
Hands it off to his running back. Around left end with the first down is Jawan King. He is upended as he reaches the 35-yard line, finishing off that stop for Arkansas Tech and getting him to the turf was Kyle Green, a sophomore defensive end for the Wonder Boys out of Bryant, out of that football factory they have going with the Hornets right now. It is enough for a first down on the carry, and it's first and 10 East Central at the Arkansas Tech 35. 2.32 to go first quarter, no score. But East Central once again threatening. They hand it off here to Miles Davis. Davis between the tackles to the 31-yard line for four yards. Stop made for Arkansas Tech by Christian Cole, Kobe Edwards, and Matthew Minix once again. Gain of four will make it second down and six East Central. The new line of scrimmage is the Arkansas Tech 31. Two minutes, seven seconds to go in a scoreless first quarter from Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville. Wonder Boys' last win in this series was a 38-10 victory on October 28, 2017 in Ada. Tigers have won the last three since then. Option play right, Hearns here keeps and it was a good decision as he cuts it upfield. The only thing standing between him and a first down and maybe a lot more was Lehman Howell who recovered from the defensive line to make a good stop just short of the line to gain at the 26 yard line. Lehman Howell with a nice open field play on Hearns here. And it brings up third down and one once again for the Tigers, East Central four out of six on third down conversion so far in this first quarter. Hearns here on third and one, again unable to draw the Wonder Boys offside. Play clock at 14 as he relays the play call to his teammates. Two receivers left, one to the right. Hearns here hands it off. Up the middle, Miles Davis. He will have the first down as he takes a Wonder Boy defender for a ride down to the 23-yard line, a pickup of three, making the stop for Arkansas Tech was Jaden Duhart. Duhart out of Texarkana, Texas. And it's first down and 10 East Central at the Arkansas Tech 23 yard line as we go under a minute to play in this opening period. East Central with now 92 yards of total offense in this first quarter com compared to minus four for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys are yet to record a fleet tire point S first down. Davis comes to the near side in motion. Hearns here under pressure from Kobe Edwards, rolls away from it. Now a penalty flag is thrown. Hearns here unloads into the near boundary, incomplete, and we almost certainly have a holding call upcoming against well, East Central here with 22 three. seconds to go in the first quarter. One would think. Let's back him up. Coach Kyle Ship says, yes, we will accept that penalty and move him back 10 yards to the 32-yard line where it'll be first down and 20 for East Central. 10 yards, that's a spot foul as well. I'm not sure why the umpire's going back to the line of scrimmage. They spotted at the 32-yard line of Arkansas Tech, and from huh. there it'll be first down and 20. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is the previous line of scrimmage. Oh, Second penalty against East Central for 25 yards. The Wonder Boys have been penalized just once for five yards so far. That previous 15-yard penalty against East Central derailed their last drive. We'll see if this holding call brings about the same fate for the Tigers this time around. Hand off to Miles Davis. Davis is wrapped up and taken to the turf by Christian Cole, the senior linebacker out of Soxie, Texas, with the stop after a very minimal gain by Miles Davis. And that will likely be the final play of the first quarter here tonight in Russellville. We have played 15 minutes at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field, and the score is Arkansas Tech 0, East Central 0. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast booth after this 30-second break. This is Wonder Boys Football. The folks at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air wants to take a... The town is a project of the Chamber of Commerce, ATU Connection Committee, designed to increase campus and community engagement. Businesses and organizations, particularly in paint the town green and gold, decorated the interior and or exterior of their places of business in Arkansas Tech Themes this week. 23 businesses participated this year. If you'll direct your attention to the north end of the field, we'll present this year's winner. Best indoor display, River Valley Medical Wellness, accepting the award is Trish Earl. Brittany Holt and Christina Hall. Best outdoor display, Boys and Girls Club of the Arkansas River Valley Russellville location. 
accepting the award is Miss Nikki. Chance to tour residence halls, maybe get your photo made with Jerry the Bulldog. Now, to be clear, that'll be the original Jerry, or not the original Jerry, not the one from the 30s. It'll be Jerry Charles Young the first. Uh, will be the still the sitting campus ambassador for Family Day and Saturday Showcase next week. And so that's the Jerry you'll be having your photo with one week ago. Jerry too still has a few immunizations to get through before he can take office on October the first. But you can get your photo made with Jerry one and a whole lot more of even more important things next week during Saturday showcase I encourage you to go to ArkansasTechnews.com we have an article there with all the details and it'll also a link inside that article to the registration page that is Saturday showcase not only for high school seniors and juniors but also if you know someone who is attending another college at the moment and might be interested in transferring to Arkansas Tech next year we begin the second quarter at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville. Right now, the Paint the Town Green and Gold Award winners being recognized. Angela Bonds from the Russellville Area Chamber of Commerce does such a phenomenal job with that program, along with the ATU Connection Committee. Kelly's been very involved in that over the years, along with our friend Jim Murphy. And they very much take good direction from Jane Jones, who's I think Free Will heads that up. Yeah, and I tell you what, and it, it's always fun, especially if you're a judge, to go around town and see all the all the pride that everybody has in supporting the university, especially with Paint the Town, welcoming back the students, uh, the football players, and everything that goes on here on campus. So good partnership. Angela was kind to send to be the winners in advance, and so I'll share those with you as we get an opportunity. Right now it is second down and 19 for East Central. Kenny Hearnseer fakes the handoff, rolls to his right under pressure, off his back foot, throws incomplete into the near boundary. It was Kobe Edwards applying the pressure for Arkansas Tech to force that incompletion. And now it'll be third down and 19 for the Tigers as they kind of gained a yard, it seems like, on that change in the end of the field. It was the 32-yard line, now it's the 31. So they, they gained a yard with the change of quarters, which is unusual. Well, we, we do have a new chain crew this year. Our, our chain crew that had been with us for years and years, they've all retired for some reason. <laughs> Maybe you and I ought to look into that one of these days. Third down and 19. Handoff running left with it for East Central University is Namir Herod, and he is stopped at the 25-yard line, a gain of six, but nowhere near the first down marker. Possibly in field goal range. It'll be fourth and 13, and here comes the looks of a field goal unit for East Central. Alexis Lopez is the place kicker for East Central. Lopez made a pair of field goals last week against Harding. He was true from 27 yards and from 36 yards. This will be a 41-yard attempt from the left hash mark. Wind is not a factor. Lopez is a left-footed kicker. He's kicking toward the south goal and the bandstand. Kick is on its way. It'll be plenty long, and it is good. And our new score with 14 minutes and 12 seconds to go in the second quarter is East Central 3, Arkansas Tech 0. In the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we step aside for a one-minute break. This is Wonder Boys Football. Taking care of families. That's what the folks at CND Drugstore have been doing in historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades when it comes to all your pharmaceutical needs. When it comes to compounding special medicines, R.D. Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, if you need curbside pickup, you need C&D Drugstore on the corner of B and Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60-year tradition. A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees' products and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings and walls, then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479-272-40. 69. The scoring drive for East Central was 10 plays, 25 yards. It consumed 4 minutes and 52 seconds and resulted in the 41-yard field goal by Alexis Lopez to give East Central a 3 to nothing lead over Arkansas Tech with 14 minutes and 11 seconds to go in the second quarter. And Kelly, a troubling number right now is time of possession. East Central so far 
has had the football for 13 minutes and 35 seconds compared to just two minutes and 14 seconds for the Wonder Boys. Yeah, the Wonder Boys, they've had the three and outs right now. They need to get a good drive going like East Central has. They've you know, been able to get the running game and the passing game going and uh, getting a lot of first downs. Oscar Simon handles the kickoffs for East Central. Line drive, end over end kick fielded on the near boundary and a fair catch called for and made at about the eight yard line for Arkansas Tech by Trayon Jones. And it'll be first and 10 Arkansas Tech from its own 25 yard line. And a nice job there by Simon to really angle that kickoff toward the boundary. And Jones kind of hemmed in that corner, had no choice but to take the fair catch. It'll be first and 10 for the Wonder Boys from their own 25. Arkansas Tech looking for its first fleet tire point S first down of the game. You see a lot more fair catches now since you're able to take it on the 25, not prevent maybe getting a fumble or a loss deep in your territory. Keon Simmons is in at running back for Arkansas Tech. Tay Gatewood is the quarterback. Gatewood brings Mason Ross, one of his receivers in motion. Handoff is to Keon Simmons. Big hole up the middle, 35, and he spun down to the turf by Cameron Jones at the 38-yard line. A gain of 13 yards on the first carry of the night for Keon Simmons, and it is a fleet tire point S first down for Arkansas Tech as Keon Simmons, who averaged 11.8 yards per carry against Southeastern, has another big run here. First and 10 Wonder Boys from their own 38, 1345 to go second quarter. East Central three, Arkansas Tech zero. Second game of the season, first home game of the year for the Wonder Boys, quarterback draw. Gatewood running right, made the first man miss, beat the second man to the corner, and then a diving tackle made by Orlando Brown. Brown gets Gatewood to the turf at the 43 yard line after a pickup of five, and it's second down and five second for the Wonder Boys. Five. Offensive line doing a good job, getting a little push Football now, being able to get some line. extra yardage. Along with an assist from Dayton Keller, who is in at tight end now. Keller had a good game nine days ago for the Wonder Boys. Man in motion is Mason Ross. Gatewood rolling the pocket left, throws for Ross. Ross makes the catch, first down into East Central territory and tackled at the 47-yard line. And East Central Tiger lost his hat on the play. The gain is 10. It is another fleet tire point S first down for Arkansas Tech. And the Wonder Boys are in East Central territory for the first time tonight. Good job by Mason. It was a simple route. He just gave what the defensive uh, defender gave him. He just good yardage. And a nice job by Gatewood at the snap of the football to sell the idea that he was going to roll right, then pivoted and came back to his left. And that created some space for Ross as well. Hand off to Keon Simmons, and poor Keon never had a chance. He was wrapped up as soon as he had the football. There to make the stop for East Central were Michael Onwazaruke. Lost a yard or two. Along with Devin Roush. And they make the stop back at the 48-yard line for a loss of one. It is second down and 11, Arkansas Tech. Antonio Ruiz checks in at wide receiver. He, Jorion Chase, and Adam Cousins are the receivers to the right side of the formation. Open field left for quarterback Tay Gatewood on second down and 11. He fakes the handoff, throws complete to his tight end, Dayton Keller. Keller, not a lot of blockers in front, able to make his way down to the 44-yard line, a pickup of four, and it'll be third down and seven. It's East Central that time at the point of attack, did a nice job blowing up several would-be blocks by the Arkansas Tech wide receivers. 11 minutes and 41 seconds to go in the second quarter, East Central three, Arkansas Tech zero from Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville, Arkansas. Gatewood hands it off. Devontae Dean running up the middle, ran through one tackle, runs through another, and stays on his feet enough to get a fleet tire point S first down at Great. the 35-yard line. Got all that on his own. What a job by the UA Monticello transfer to advance the football down to the 35 and pick up the third first down of this drive for Arkansas Tech. Gatewood wants to go quickly. Two receivers left, one to his right. Fakes to Dean, sets to throw. Deep, has a man inside the 10. It is in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, Brandon Hunter, the senior wide receiver out of Benton. Had it in his hands inside the 10, just could not bring it into the body. And the incompletion will make it second down and 10, Arkansas Tech. 
from the East Central 35, a pretty ball thrown there by Gatewood. I'll tell you what, he put it right where he needed to. Cousins goes to the far side as a receiver, joining Jorion Chase. Devontae Dean stays in as the running back. And Tay Gatewood awaits the snap at quarterback, second down and 10. Ross is the receiver left. Gatewood throwing right beyond the reach of his intended receiver, and the main reason the pass was off target is because as he was in the process of throwing the football, Tay Gatewood was planted by Michael Onwu Zaruke. Onwu Zaruke is a sophomore linebacker out of Allen, Texas, and his quarterback pressure brings up third down and 10 for the Wonder Boys. The line of scrimmage remains the East Central 35. I'm sure they weren't talking about where to get a bite to eat after the game. Travis Toby checks in at tight end, replacing Dayton Keller. Third down and 10. Line to gain is the East Central 25. Gatewood takes the snap. Here comes the pressure. Hit as he unloads, incomplete, and Gatewood sees a penalty flag fly now. Not where he was hit, but down at the end of the play where the pass landed. We may have pass interference against East Central. That would extend the Arkansas Tech drive and would be a kind gift after the incompletion on what would have been third down and 10. We're going to have to shore up that protection, though, for Tay Gatewood. Or it's oh, going to be a yeah, long night for he's him. He's not getting any time at all to find those receivers. Holding, defense, Instead of pass interference, they call holding. And so that will be an automatic first down for Arkansas Tech. It moves the football down to the Ball East Central 25-yard line. And so the first down for Arkansas Tech, a fleet tire point S first down by penalty. And the Wonder Boys with their best scoring threat so far. Gatewood from the shotgun. Takes the snap, fakes a handoff, has time this time, throws to the near side. Catch is made for Arkansas Tech by Will Stegall. And Stegall is out of bounds inside the 20 yard line, forced out there by Cody Alexander and Martinez Hill. Isn't it so nice when you have time? Makes a big difference. And the first reception of the year for Will Stegall, the freshman out of Germantown, Tennessee, is a fleet tire point S first down for Arkansas Tech in the red zone at the 15 yard line. Gatewood lobs it toward the end zone. Eddington makes the catch and he's in. Touchdown, Arkansas Tech on a 15 yard touchdown pass from Tay Gatewood to his tight end, Jordan Eddington. And the Wonder Boys grab the lead with 10 23 to go until halftime. Oh, great setup for that play. And beautiful touch on the pass from Gatewood. And now Jesus Zazumbo. Will attempt the Mr. Break and Lube extra point for the Wonder Boys. Zazumbo, in his career for Arkansas Tech, is 79 out of 79 on point after touchdown kicks. Placement is down, kick is away, it is good. And our new score with 10 minutes and 23 seconds to go in the second quarter is Arkansas Tech 7, East Central 3. At the Alathus Realty Broadcast booth, we take a one minute break. You're listening to the Wonder Boys. At Fleet Tire Point S, the S stands for service, selection, and savings. Fleet Tire knows the importance of a handshake and the significance of a referral that will never change. At Fleet Tire Point S, you'll still find the same local owner's friendly service and guarantees on warranties. Fleet Tire Point S consistently offers unparalleled service and quality tires to fit every budget because you, the customer, are always a top priority at Fleet Tire Point S. So come by today and experience the Fleet Tire Point S difference. No stress with Point S. Shane here with you for Joshua's Fine Jewelry in downtown Russellville. I'm hanging out talking to my man Nathan George from Joshua's in downtown Russellville. We've got a lot of interesting items from colored stone jewelry to sterling silver to gold, diamonds, pretty much anything you could want. There's a, a huge push right now for lab-grown diamonds. Never hesitate to come in or call or you can text us at 479-968-3117 and we'll be happy to talk talk to you about any of your jewelry needs. The scoring drive for Arkansas Tech was 10 plays, 75 yards. It took three minutes and 48 seconds and led to the 15-yard touchdown pass 
from Tay Gatewood to Jordan Eddington and Kelly. Before that drive, the Wonder Boys had minus four yards of total offense in this game. They had no first downs. Now they have six first downs. And you've really got to credit Ryan Trevathan, the offensive coordinator for Arkansas Tech, and that offensive unit for making the adjustments in game they needed to make to find success. Yeah, you couldn't wait till halftime to make those adjustments. And, and good thing that they saw, they saw one little thing, and it just opened up the door for them. Now Jesus Zazumbo will kick it back to East Central. Going to go with the sky kick, high short one toward the far side. It is received at the 25-yard line for East Central by Walter Brooks, and he brings it out to the 30-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 East Central from there. The touchdown pass a moment ago for Arkansas Tech's Tay Gatewood was his second touchdown pass of the season. And for Jordan Eddington, it was his first touchdown reception of the year. Eddington did have a rushing touchdown against Southeastern Oklahoma State in the season opener, so his second touchdown of the season overall. Eddington for his career, that is his second career touchdown reception and his eighth career touchdown overall. 10-17 to go in the second quarter. Wonder Boys lead 7-3, handoff to Miles Davis, and the Wonder Boys have him snowed under for nothing. Leading the surge for the Arkansas Tech defense was Kyle Green, and the Wonder Boys make the stop for no gain at the 30-yard line on the carry by Miles Davis. And it'll be second down and 10 for East Central. Yeah, Wonder Boy defense had a chance to catch their breath, get a good rest. Now they can get out there and do what they do best. East Central quarterback Kenny Hearns here, just 7 of 17 passing so far for 45 yards. Waits in the shotgun on second down and 10. He throws across the middle, in and out of the hands of his intended receiver, Greg Howell. Howell, no doubt, heard the footsteps. He dropped the football, and it's third down and 10 for East Central. Well, the, yeah, that and two green jerseys right in front of him. Definitely felt that pressure, and it'll be third down and long now for the Tigers. East Central, five out of eight on third down conversions so far tonight. They have 100 yards of total offense thus far, eight first downs. 55 rushing yards, 45 passing yards. Hearns here across the middle, catch is made for a first down. Reception made just over the 40 yard line by Greg Howell. A penalty flag comes in after the play. This will be a dead ball foul. The tackle for Arkansas Tech was made by Jordan Furch. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Arkansas Tech is the call. That will tack 15 yards onto the end of that play. It will advance the football into Arkansas Tech territory and the new line of scrimmage should be the Arkansas Tech 44 yard line as the Wonder Boys pick up their second penalty of the football game. It comes with nine minutes and 32 seconds to go in the second quarter and the Wonder Boys leading seven to three. Oh, that one hurt. Kenny Hearns here will operate from a pistol formation. Lined up behind him as the running back is Miles Davis, two receivers right. Hearns here now with 16 on the play clock, looks to the far side. We're going to change it up here. Play clock down to 10 as Hearns here gives the new plan to his offensive teammates. Still in the pistol, four on the play clock. Hearns here takes the snap. He will hand to Miles Davis. Davis tries the middle, and Trey White takes him down at the 43-yard line after a gain of one. And Trey White has been a very effective run stopper here so far tonight for Arkansas Tech. Brings up second down and nine for East Central University. Eight minutes and 47 seconds to go until halftime. Stay with us at the intermission. We will bring you a look at the numbers from the first half, and of course, we will bring you the halftime performance by the Arkansas Tech University marching band known far and wide as Arkansas's Band of Distinction. Screen pass complete to the far side for Miles Davis. Davis will have the first down, forced out of bounds at the Arkansas Tech 30-yard line by Kevin Carlton. The gain on the play is 12. It is a Tigers first down. And they are once again on the move here midway through the second quarter with Arkansas Tech leading this one 7-3. Two receivers right, Laquan Wells and Jaquan Lincoln. They will hand it off. Miles Davis cuts it upfield, goes to the 25 and down to the 24-yard line, a pickup of six for Miles Davis. Among the Wonder Boys there to make that stop, Carson Holloway along with Victor Hill and Christian Cole. It'll be second down and four for East Central University. 
Checking in at running back is Namir Herod, replacing Miles Davis for the Tigers. Jaquan Lincoln is the receiver right. Two receivers left. Ball spotted between the hash marks. Tigers moving from our left to our right toward the south goal in the bandstand. Hand off Herod. Herod tried to uh, cut back to his right, and when he cut back, there were about three Arkansas Tech defenders awaiting his arrival. Christian Cole among them. Also there, Stanley Bentley and Kevin Carlton. They make the stop at the 20, let's call it the 23-yard line for a gain of one. And it is third down and three for East Central. They get a good stop here to keep them in field goal range. Four wide receivers this time, two to either side. The running back is Namir Herod. Jackson McFarlane and Jaquan Lincoln are the receivers right. Over to the left side, it's Jake Berry and Laquan Wells. Clock rolling, 6.50 to go, second quarter. Play clock at one. Hearns here takes the snap, option play right, cuts it upfield, spin move, and he will have the first down inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. On third down and three, Hearns here gets five, and that little option has been effective for East Central so far. The Wonder Boys have had a tough time defending that play. Yeah, I mean, that, that option is exactly what it's called to do. It's like you have just pick what the defense chooses to do, and you do the opposite. And when you have a quarterback with like Kenny Hearns here who is so shifty in his running style, yeah. it makes him very difficult to defend out of that attack. Namir Herod will line up behind Hearns here in the pistol on first down and 10 from the Tech 18. Hand off Herod, lead blocker in front, and he follows Herod that lead blocker, Herod Anthony Wright, down to the 16-yard line. A pickup of, let's call it a pickup of two. It'll be second down and eight for the Tigers as we go under six minutes to play in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech seven, East Central three, but the Tigers are threatening. Three receivers to the left side this time. Jordan Jacobs has checked in. He's a tight end by trade, but he will line up as a wide receiver this time. The lone receiver right is Josh Little. Man in motion is jo Jordan Jacobs. Hearns here has the snap. Hearns here. A holding call will be made against East Central. Fumble. The sack is made, and the Wonder Boys have recovered the fumble. Stanley Bentley forced the fumble, and it looked like Trey White jumped on it. The Wonder Boys will clearly decline the holding call and accept the outcome of the play, which is a lost fumble by quarterback Kenny Hernseer. It was Stanley Bentley who stripped it away, and Trey White who dove on the loose ball, and Arkansas Tech will get the football on the turnover by East Central, and the first turnover of the game is forced by the Arkansas Tech defense. Came in from the blind side, so the quarterback never really saw it until he was right there on him, and they just did a good job of poking the ball away. Stanley Bentley, 6'1", 170, a senior defensive back from Yazoo City, Mississippi and a transfer from the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, forcing that turnover. Let's take advantage of this. Go down and get some points. It's first and 10 Wonder Boys from their own 31. Whether it's been penalties or now a turnover, East Central has made several mistakes in plus territory here in the first half that have stopped potential scoring drives. Handoff on first and 10 from the 31. Goes to the 33 yard line on a gain of two for Arkansas Tech's Deion Simmons. It'll be second down and eight from there for the Wonder Boys. East Central with 113 yards of total offense so far. Arkansas Tech with 63. But it's the Wonder Boys who have the lead on the scoreboard, seven to three. Tay Gatewood, the Arkansas Tech quarterback, five of 11 passing so far tonight for 34 yards and a touchdown, takes the snap. On second down and eight, throws across the middle. It is deflected away and incomplete, batted away by Devon Rausch, junior linebacker for East Central, breaks up the pass, and it'll be third down and eight for the Wonder Boys, who are one out of three on third down conversions thus far tonight. Got lucky there, risky pass. Had three white jerseys, one green jersey. Deflection hit the ground. Definitely trying to thread the needle with that one. And it brings up third down and eight. Line of scrimmage remains the Arkansas Tech 33. They need to get to their own 41-yard line, do the Wonder Boys, to pick up the first down. Low snap, Gatewood fields it, but as soon as he does, he is taken down by a leaping Orlando Brown of East Central University. So the bad snap takes away any chance of converting on third down. The loss on the play back to the 28-yard line will bring up fourth down and 13 for the Wonder Boys, and Aaron Wynn will come on to punt it away for Arkansas Tech. Yeah, had a lot of pressure that last punt. Let's see if we can 
loosen that pressure up this time and get a good punt on. Wynn waits for the snap. And now whistles, and I believe the Wonder Boys are going to have to use a timeout. 4-12 to go in the second quarter. Tech leading 7-3 at the Alathus Realty Broadcast booth. It's a 30-second break plus a station ID. This is Wonder Boys football. Do you need your wisdom or other teeth removed? Do you have a toothache? Are you considering dental implants to replace missing teeth or to help anchor a denture? Be sure to see Dr. Forrest Bale for a no out-of-pocket consultation at Lakeside Oral Facial and Dental Implant Surgery. Lakeside is contracted with many insurance companies and has multiple financing options to minimize your out-of-pocket costs. Have your oral surgery in a caring, state-of-the-art facility right here in Russellville. Visit their website at Lakeside OFS. Com. This is Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys Football on River Country 1023 KCJC, Dartonell, Russellville. So after the timeout, Aaron Wynn will get a chance to punt it away for Arkansas Tech. He has punted twice so far tonight for an average of 40 yards per punt. Waiting inside his own 30-yard line for East Central University, it is Laquan Wells. Aaron Wynn awaits the snap. Out of Somerville, South Carolina, just does get it away under, again, heavy pressure. That's going to be a penalty. At least running into, if not roughing the puncher, that'll be a very important distinction. The punt rolls dead at the 26-yard yep. line of East Central. I think his leg was still in the air, so that'd be roughing. And it is. And that will give the Wonder Boys a first down. Roughing the punter on East Central University is a free first down for Arkansas Tech, a fleet tire point S first down and instead of having to punt it away the Wonder Boys will have it first and 10 at their own 43 yard line and with four minutes and one second to go in the second quarter and the Wonder Boys still having two timeouts left here before halftime if Arkansas Tech could go down and convert this into a touchdown that could turn out to be a very big play in this game well, let's just hope we didn't need three timeouts Tay Gatewood will be the Arkansas Tech quarterback lined up to his left as the running back is Keon Simmons Two receivers left, one to the right. As Tay Gatewood awaits the snap on first and 10 from Jacob Cato. Gatewood looking left, sets up a screen. It is complete to Matthew Rivera, but East Central had that one read from the word go. And there's that man again, Jalen Baldwin. He makes the stop and the play will go for a loss of two back to the 41 yard line. It'll be second down and 12. You sure would like to have some players the caliber of Jalen Baldwin on your roster. He is oh, a dandy. 5'10", 170, senior cornerback. As we detailed earlier, led the league in passes defended and interceptions a year ago. East Central shows blitz. Now the Wonder Boys will run into it, and it'll go for not much, if anything. Arkansas Tech able to push the pile forward as Keon Simmons Keon carries it up to maybe even the 44-yard line on that push, a gain of three. It'll bring up third down and nine for Arkansas Tech. Dayton Keller checks in at tight end. Mason Ross will check out at wide receiver. Matthew Rivera and Jorion Chase will be the receivers to the far side of the field. It is third down and nine. The Wonder Boys must advance to the East Central 47 to pick up the first down. Now Arkansas Tech wants to change the play. We'll have to hurry a little bit. Play clock is already at six. Gatewood claps his hands, takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Rolling right, good protection. Gatewood throws too tall for Jorion Chase. And the reason it was too tall is because with him step for step was Keontae Lusk, ju junior defensive back for East Central, forcing that incompletion. And as it turns out, that roughing the punter call, at least for the moment, does not look like it cost East Central anything but about, oh, 15 yards of field position. Yeah. Need a good punt here. Put them deep in their territory. Aaron Wynn to punt it away once again. And again, it is Laquan Wells, this time waiting at his own 20-yard line. Tigers have really been bringing the pressure on the Arkansas Tech punt protection. They're bringing it again. Wynn's punt is away, and it's a good one. Sidewinder that will come down into the waiting arms of a fair catch by Laquan Wells at his own 18-yard line. It is a 38-yard punt by Aaron Wynn. He forces East Central to start inside its own 20-yard line. For Aaron Wynn, 
that punt is the 39th time in his career, the fifth time this year that he has had a punt down inside the 20 yard line. That is against only 11 career touchbacks. And so having that appropriate touch on those punts to pin the opponent deep in their own territory has been a big part of Aaron Wynn's success over the years here at Arkansas Tech and previously at Presbyterian College in South Carolina. On first and 10, Hearns here across the middle, catch is made by Jackson McFarland. McFarland turns it upfield and gets close to the first down marker up at the 28 yard line. McFarland with the reception. It is his third of the night. He now has 30 receiving yards on the night as they rule it was enough for an East Central first down. The 12th first down of the game for the Tigers. Hearns here steps up the pocket. He will run for it over the 30 yard line kind of slides down with his left shoulder first to the 32-yard line. Christian Cole made the tackle for Arkansas Tech. The gain is four, the clock is rolling. One minute and 50 seconds to go in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech leading seven to three here at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville. Hearns here on second and six, throws far side. Catch is made, trying to wrap up the receiver and force him out is Matt Arnold. He does so short of the first down marker at the 37-yard line. It's a gain of five on another catch by Jackson McFarland, his fourth of the first half. Clock runs, didn't get out of bounds Ready on his own. They ruled him in inbounds at the 37 yard line, so it's third down and one. East Central still has all three of its timeouts. Clock rolling a minute 14 to go until halftime. Hearns here, throws across the middle, almost oh, intercepted. Mercy. Christian Cole got his left hand on it and batted it away from the intended receiver, Josh Little. And Christian, if he had leaned to his left just a split second earlier, would have picked that one off. That would have been nice. Fourth down now. And They're going to punt it away, though. They're going to play one. safe. On fourth and one from their own 37, the Tigers will punt it here with one minute and eight seconds to go. Adam Cousins is the return man on punts tonight for Arkansas Tech, filling in for Tyrus Fort, who is out due to injury. We'll see Reese Connor to punt it away for East Central. Wonder Boys look like they will send 10 men after trying to block this punt. They send about eight. The punt is away. They avoid the roughing or running into the punter call. The football bounces and rolls and bounces and rolls and will come to rest at the Arkansas Tech 12 yard line. A punt of 51 yards for Reese Connor. And the Wonder Boys with 59 seconds to go in the first half will start first and 10 from their own 12. And now it becomes an interesting bit of strategy. East Central has all three of its timeouts. And so if the Wonder Boys play it too conservatively here, then East Central can use those timeouts and force Arkansas Tech to punt it back to the Tigers. Or if the Wonder Boys take too many chances, we know what could happen there. We'll see what they do on this first play. I'm sure that will de de determine East Central's timeout strategy. A tough but, <clears throat> tough but important yeah. play call to be made here by the Arkansas Tech offense. First and 10 from their own 12 late in the first half, protecting a 7-3 lead. Quarterback draw. We'll play it safe here, will the Wonder Boys. And Gatewood will lose a couple on first down to yep. the 10. Timeout. They're going to take it. And East Central will use its first timeout of the half. 52 seconds to go in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech leads 7-3. to three. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast booth after this 30-second break. You're listening to Arkansas Tech football. Well, I bet the old computer is misfiring on the, the ads. That's no problem. We have a good chance to do something ourselves here with the A Better Way Realty GAC scoreboard update with the one and only Kelly Davis. Well, there's only one close one right now. Southwest Oklahoma 7, Southern Arkansas 6, 4.15 to go in the second quarter there. UA Monticello, they have got an offense apparently. It is eight minutes to go until half, and they're already up 33-7 to seven over Oklahoma Baptist. Mercy. Washita Baptist, no surprise, 31 to zero over Southern Nazarene. Harding just now getting underway. And the other game that oh, is on the schedule I is Henderson State at Northwest. And, and I can confirm with the commissioner, they are in a delay, weather delay right now. So they have not started yet. 
I knew it was either Weather or Henderson State just got lost on the yeah. way to Alabama. It was one of the two. It's easy to do. Hand off on second down and 12, and this will go for a couple up to the 12-yard line on, by Devontae Dean. And East Central will use another timeout. 47 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech 7, East Central 3. Here in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we will step aside for a 30-second break. This is Wonder Boys Football. Miller Roofing Company. They've served the River Valley since 1991 with a reputation for superior work and reliability. Now to keep up with demand, Miller Roofing Company is looking for reliable, experienced individuals to join a team that stood the test of time, serving their community for 31 years and is still going strong. To be a part of the Miller Roofing Company family, call 890-3499 to set up an interview or stop by 318 South Arkansas Avenue. 47 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech 7, East Central 3. And the Wonder Boys face third down and 10 from their own 12-yard line. Again, stay with us at halftime. We will bring you the numbers from the first half. And we will bring you the halftime performance by the Arkansas Tech University Marching Band. Tay Gatewood is the Arkansas Tech quarterback. The Wonder Boys need to get to their own 22 to pick up the first down. Man in motion is Jordan Eddington. Gatewood rolls to his right, sets, throws deep down the far boundary. It is incomplete, breaking it up for East Central University on a pass intended for Adam Cousins. Quite pleased with himself after the play is Keontae Lusk, who broke it up, came diving over the top of the intended receiver, Adam Cousins, and timed that leap just right to break it up. And on fourth down and 10 from their own 12-yard line, the Wonder Boys will have to punt it away. And the only bad thing about it, saved them a, a timeout right there. Had to take a shot, though, to pick up that first down. That's true. If you could have got a first down there, that's basically half over. But that's not the case now, as they're going to look like East Central is going to send at least nine men to try to block this punt. They will send nine. Wins punt is away. It is going to be fielded at the Arkansas Tech 47-yard line by Laquan Wells. Wells running toward the far boundary, cuts it upfield, and will get out of bounds inside the 40. They will say he stepped out of bounds at the 37-yard line of Arkansas Tech, and the Tigers have a very good opportunity to score here right before halftime as they will get to start in Arkansas Tech territory with 29 seconds to go in the half. Arkansas Tech leading 7-3, to three, and the Tigers still have that one timeout left if they need it. Kenny Hearnseer, 10 of 22 passing for 73 yards. Namir Herod is their leading rusher with five carries for 27 yards. Hearnseer throws, near side, intercepted, picked off by Jordan Furch at the 20. Run he's it, back over it, the 35, it. the 40. There he's in midfield, he's at the 40, and he's drugged down from behind. A touchdown saving tackle made for East Central by Namir Herod after Jordan Furch picked it off at the 20 yard line and returned it into East Central territory. The interception return for Jordan Furch will go for 50 yards and with 16 seconds left in the half. Two now it's, timeouts. Now it's the Wonder Boys who have a chance to score right before the break. Let's get down there at least. We're almost in field goal range already. We may be in field goal range. Second interception of the season, fourth of his career for Jordan Furch, the senior from Paris, Texas. And now the Arkansas Tech offense onto the field. Tay Gatewood at quarterback. His running back is Deion Simmons. Jorion Chase and Matthew Rivera are the receivers to the right side. Mason Ross is the lone receiver left. First and 10, play action fake. Gatewood throws deep down the Wide middle, has open. a man, and it is caught. Touchdown, Arkansas Tech. Reception made by Travis Toby, and the Wonder Boys take advantage of the East Central turnover, and Tech leads it 13 to three right before halftime. Can you say turn of events? Travis Toby's first career reception as a Wonder Boy is a 30-yard touchdown pass from Tay Gatewood and now Jesus Zazumbo to attempt the Mr. Break and Lube extra point after what also goes into the books as a Fleet Tire Point S first down. We don't need a field goal. Let's just get a touchdown. The extra point by Zazumbo is on its way. It is 
good, and our new score with 10 seconds left in the second quarter is Arkansas Tech 14, East Central 3, and the Alathas Realty Broadcast booth. We take a 30-second break. This is Wonder Boys Football. Mr. Break and Lube, your local Pennzoil 10-minute oil change super stop at 1415 East Main Street, has the best brand name oils like Mobile One, Castrol, Motorcraft, Rotella, and Quaker State without breaking the bank. Plus, specials to save even more. Come by 1415 East Main Street when you need an oil change or repair work from your local one-stop maintenance shop you can count on. Mr. Break and Lube and follow Mr. Break and Lube on Facebook to keep up with monthly specials. 10 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Arkansas Tech 14, East Central 3. Travis Toby, the young man who made that reception for Arkansas Tech for the touchdown, 6 2, 230, a freshman tied end out of Sarasota, Florida, with a 30 yard touchdown reception from Tay Gatewood, Gatewood's second touchdown pass of the night. And it is 14 to 3, Wonder Boys, right before the intermission. Oh, what a way to. Make a turn. And it was set up by the interception and then the 50 yard return by Jordan Furch. And now Jesus Zazumbo to kick it back to the Tigers, who have to be a bit stunned by that turn of events. Look like they might take the lead before halftime, and now they're down 14 to 3. Evidence of that stunnedness is the kickoff return man fumbling the kickoff. It is Greg Howell who brings it out to the 13 yard line, stopped there. And one would anticipate at this stage that East Central would yeah. just take a knee and head to the locker room to regroup. Well, you know, that had to take a little bit of wind out of the cell right there. And what a boost for the Wonder Boys as they get set to go in and talk it over at halftime. Several adjustments First to make at halftime. Kenny Hearns here at quarterback for East Central. We'll see if they try anything here with five seconds left in the half from their own 13-yard line. Definitely feels like a good spot to take a knee. Hearns here, though, will hand off to Miles Davis. Davis running up the middle, and he'll be stopped at the 19-yard line, driven back there, and that's the final play of the half. After 30 minutes of football at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field, the news is very good. The score is Arkansas Tech University 14 and East Central University 3 in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth we will step aside for a three minute break. attention toward the north end zone for a special game ball presentation for tonight's game day sponsor legends resort and casino legends resort and casino is proud to sponsor the first home game of the season best wishes for a legendary year and a special welcome to the newest member of the atu family Jerry Charles Young II. For more information on Legends Resort and Casino, visit legendsarkansas.com. On the field, we have Arkansas Tech Director of Athletics, Abby Davis, Legends Resort and Casino Community Relations Specialist, Jennifer McGill, Legends Resort and Casino Community Relations Coordinator, Stacey Buckholz, and Cherokee Nation Entertainment Director of Hospitality, Dean Rubin. Thank you, Jennifer, Stacy, Dean, and everyone at Legends Resort and Casino. Fans at this time, will you please direct your attention toward the north end of the field for a special on-field presentation. The Arkansas Tech Alumni Association Association is proud to present the ATU staff member of the game. The Arkansas Tech Alumni Office selected this individual for her outstanding.
outstanding service to Arkansas Tech. The staff member of the game is Ms. Megan Burke. Assistant to the student program. Megan is one of the hardest workers on campus. She constantly goes above and beyond to make every student feel important. And she does it all with a smile. We're grateful for all Megan does to make Arkansas Tech great. Presenting the award today is Ms. Shirley Dodd with the Arkansas Tech University Alumni Board and Caroline Kitchens, Director of Alumni Relations. Please join us in giving them a big round of applause. you to turn your attention toward the video board as we have one more very special presentation. Tonight's game marks the 200th consecutive Wonder Boys football game broadcast on the radio by Sam Streisner. A Wonder Boy through and through, Sam began calling games for Wonder Boys football in 2002 and has been a consistent voice painting the picture of the action over the airwaves ever since. From everyone at Arkansas Tech Athletics, thank you for years of dedicated service, and here's to 200 more. But to Dr. Bowen and my wife, too. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I, I appreciate it a whole bunch. No, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Apologize, everybody. And now I'm getting phone calls, and so who knows what else is going on. But uh, now that we've got that out of the way, and I do very much appreciate that. That's, that's very nice of everybody who was involved in that. And it's, it's just a lot of fun for me to do this. And if anybody else enjoys it as much as I do, that's just a bonus. Uh, we will take a quick look here at the first half numbers before the Arkansas Tech University Marching Band takes the field. Arkansas Tech leading this game 14-3 to at halftime. And Arkansas Tech so far has had eight Fleet Tire Point S first downs. East Central with 13 first downs thus far. The Tigers have 65 rushing yards and 84 passing yards. That's 149 yards of total offense so far for East Central. Arkansas Tech with 27 rushing yards and 62 passing yards. That's 89 yards of total offense for Arkansas Tech. But the Wonder Boys. There they are, the members of the 2022 Arkansas Tech University Marching Band, Arkansas's Band of Distinction. Here in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we will step aside for a three minute break and then come back with a look at the A Better Way Realty GAC scoreboard. That's in three minutes. Arkansas Tech leads 14 to three at halftime. And this is Wonder Boys football. 
Olathe's Realty is proud to support all of our local student athletes. At Olathe's Realty, we believe the community comes first, and there's nothing quite like community than cheering on your favorite team from the stands. Olathe's Realty is committed to provide our area with gold standard service in every aspect of your real estate transaction. So whether you're loading up to go to the game or settling in for an evening at home, you can rest assured Olathe's Realty is taking care of you. Call us today, 479-968-5668. Olathe's Realty, we put the real in real estate. Find us on Facebook today. The heater broke down, I had to act fast. Wiggled some wires, I broke the thermostat. My wife got cold and nose started to freeze. She said, hey man, got a call, actually. Actually Air. Dot com. The heater breaks down, they're the one you want. Actually Air. Dot com. Fast and they're good and they got it going on. Technician showed up the very same day. It's running fast, he was on his way. The next time your heater breaks, you know who to call. There's only one choice. Actually, ever. At Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash Max at Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. It's that time of year again to start thinking about reviewing your Medicare plan. Hi, I'm Mike Giroux with Giroux & Associates of Medicare Specialists of Arkansas, reminding you to take the time to allow a local agent to assist you with your Medicare plan review. Choosing the wrong plan can cause you to spend money unnecessarily, cause you to lose valuable benefits, or cause you to have to change the provider you currently use. Don't be fooled by the misleading commercials on TV. Call a local agent to assist you with finding a plan that best meets your needs. I'm your local Medicare Specialist. Call me at 479-857-2810. ABC Children's Academy is currently enrolling for the 2022 school year with 14 locations in Pope, Johnson, and Yale County. ABC provides all-day child care, as well as a variety of enrollment options for families, including Arkansas Better Chance for ages 3 to 5, plus more. Visit abcchildrensacademy.com for more info and come by their central office on 4th Street in Russellville to apply in person or call 567-5650. ABC Children's Academy, changing our world one student at a time. The folks at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air wants to take a moment not only to thank you for your business, but also the opportunity to work for you and give your family whole house comfort. Every kind word that you put online and personal recommendation to your friends and family is appreciated. Customers like you are not only vital to their business, but vital to making our community as great as it is. From their family to yours, thank you. From Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air. Back with you at the Alathus Realty Broadcast booth at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville where the halftime score is Arkansas Tech 14, East Central 3. Here with a look at what else is going on around the Great American Conference on the A Better Way Realty scoreboard, it is Mr. Kelly Davis. Thank you, Sam. Around the conference, we have some other games to let you know about. Three of them are at halftime. Washita having control of their game with a 31-0 lead over Southern Nazarene. It is UAM also 40-7 over Oklahoma Baptist. It says a minute 18 left in the half, but they have been stuck on that uh, clock right there. So it is possibly going to halftime. Other halftime score, Southwest Oklahoma 14, Southern Arkansas 13, very close one there. Henderson State and Northwest Oklahoma Still in a delay as far as we know. We'll try to get an update for you there. And it is still in the first quarter. They started at 7 o'clock over in Searcy. And right now, at the end of the first quarter, it's still a great game over there. Southeast Oklahoma 7, Harding 7. Very close. Total yards, Southeastern 113, Harding 101. So that's going to be a battle possibly down to the wire. A lot of people think Southeast Oklahoma is still one of the teams to beat in this conference this year. And, you know, we gave them a good run for their money, you know, in a Thursday night game to open up the season and uh, had our chances to maybe win that one. But uh, that might have been a good wake-up call for Southeast Oklahoma. So good thing we may have played them early in the season. But that's what we got right now, and we'll try to get you an update on Henderson State Northwestern, see what's going on up there in Alva, Oklahoma. 
That is the A Better Way Realty GAC scoreboard here in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth. We will step aside for a three-minute break and then come back with the second half. The score is Arkansas Tech 14 and East Central 3 back in three minutes. This is Wonder Boys Football. Taking care of families. That's what the folks at C&D Drugstore have been doing in historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades when it comes to all your pharmaceutical needs. When it comes to compounding special medicines, R.D. Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, if you need curbside pickup, you need C&D Drugstore on the corner of B and Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60-year tradition. A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees' products and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings and walls, then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479-272-40. 69. At Fleet Tire Point S, the S stands for service, selection, and savings. Fleet Tire knows the importance of a handshake and the significance of a referral that will never change. At Fleet Tire Point S, you'll still find the same local owners, friendly service, and guarantees on warranties. Fleet Tire Point S consistently offers unparalleled service and quality tires to fit every budget because you, the customer, are always a top priority at Fleet Tire Point S. So come by today and experience the Fleet Tire Point S difference no stress with Point S. Shane here with you for Joshua's Fine Jewelry in downtown Russellville. I'm hanging out talking to my man Nathan George from Joshua's in downtown Russellville. We've got a lot of interesting items from colored stone jewelry to sterling silver to gold, diamonds, pretty much anything you could want. There's a, a huge push right now for lab-grown diamonds. Never hesitate to come in or call or you can text us at 479-968-3117 and we'll be happy to talk to you about any of your jewelry needs. Do you need your wisdom or other teeth removed? Do you have a toothache? Are you considering dental implants to replace missing teeth or to help anchor a denture? Be sure to see Dr. Forrest Bale for a no out-of-pocket consultation at Lakeside Oral Facial and Dental Implant Surgery. Lakeside is contracted with many insurance companies and has multiple financing options to minimize your out-of-pocket costs. Have your oral surgery in a caring, state-of-the-art facility right here in Russellville. Visit their website at lakesideofs.com. Miller Roofing Company. They've served the River Valley since 1991 with a reputation for superior work and reliability. Now to keep up with demand, Miller Roofing Company is looking for reliable, experienced individuals to join a team that stood the test of time, serving their community for 31 years and is still going strong. To be a part of the Miller Roofing Company family, call 890-3499 to set up an interview or stop by 318 South Arkansas Avenue. 14 to 3, Arkansas Tech with the lead over East Central as we move to the third quarter tonight from Thone Stadium at Burkle Field. Glad that you are with us on River Country, KCJC and ArkansasTechSports.com. The Wonder Boys will get the football first to begin the third quarter, kicking it away for East Central will be Oscar Simon. And back deep for Arkansas Tech on the near side of the field for the Wonder Boys. It is the return man here is going to be, I believe, well, I don't think that's right. Let me get a double, another look on that here. We'll check the other side, see if we can get that one right. Over there, looks like we got Trayon Jones for Arkansas Tech. And on the near side, it is going to be Matthew Rivera. He's going to be the return man on the near side. Mystery numbers. Get a little bunchy sometimes on the front. you got to wait till they turn. Sometimes those helmets are the best, uh, best source. The kickoff by Oscar Simon will come down to Trayon Jones. And he's just going to let that one bounce and roll through the end zone for a touchback. And it'll be first and 10 Arkansas no, no, Tech from its own 25-yard line. And we'll see if the Wonder Boys can carry over the momentum from that phenomenal end to the first half. When they had a Jordan Furch interception, he returned that 50 yards. And on the next play, Tay Gatewood threw a 30-yard touchdown pass to Travis Toby. And just when it looked like the Wonder Boys might go to halftime trailing, or at least have their lead cut down to a single point if East Central had been able to kick a field goal. Just when it looked like that might be the case, instead the Wonder Boys able to score as a result of that turnover. 
Now Arkansas Tech leads 14 to three. Tay Gatewood, the quarterback, with three receivers to his left, one to his right. Keon Simmons is the running back. Pass to the right side is complete to Jorion Chase, but he was immediately clobbered by East Central's Martinez Hill. Hill makes the stop at the 29-yard line. The gain is four, and it'll be second down and six for Arkansas Tech. Positive yards, though. Gatewood takes the snap. This time, hands it off to Keon Simmons. Simmons tries the middle and will get no gain. Among the Tigers there to stop him, Yime Oyasanya, along with Damas Green. They make the stop at the 29-yard line for no gain, and it'll be third down and six for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys in the first half were just one out of six on third down conversion tries. The East Central defense between the tackles, very tough. Two receivers right, two to the left. Man in motion, Mason Ross. Gatewood takes the snap under pressure, throws a middle screen that is oh, almost mercy. intercepted oh, mercy. by Orlando Brown. He left over the intended receiver, Keon Simmons, and very nearly intercepted that Tay Gatewood pass. But it falls incomplete. And on fourth down and six, Aaron Wynn will punt it away for Arkansas Tech. Wynn had a good first half punting the football, despite some heavy pressure from East Central. Looked like he adjusted, Kelly, his well, approach and went to a little bit shor a shorter stride as that first half unfolded. Maybe a good punt here. The punt is away. Wobbly spiral fielded at the 36-yard line of East Central, and the Wonder Boys quickly cover it. Among the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys there to get well, the return man return. to the turf, the first one was Garrett Scott, the long snapper. And after that stop, inside the 40-yard line, we have timeout on the field. 13 minutes and 56 seconds to go in the third quarter. Arkansas Tech 14, East Central 3 in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth. It's a one-minute break. This is Arkansas Tech football. Residential and commercial glass and tinting company, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Check out their work on Facebook or call 890-5839 to get an estimate. Or you could always come by 2202 East 2nd Street to see all they can do for you. From a business you can trust, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Kenny Hernseer is the East Central quarterback on first and 10 from his own 38-yard line. Handoff running Davis left with it and carrier. enough for a first down. It'll be Miles Davis. He is tackled at his own 49-yard line. Stop made for Arkansas Tech again by Trey White. But it's a gain of 11 for Miles Davis. And East Central with a little bit of a spark here to begin this third quarter. The Wonder Boys are going to have to step, step up and match the intensity that East Central is bringing right now. Too many yards right then. And off again to Davis. Davis bounces it outside to the left and will be forced out of bounds in Arkansas Tech territory. Forced out by, among others, Matt Arnold. Also there for Arkansas Tech, Christian Cole along with Kevin Carlton. Forcing Davis out at the Arkansas Tech 45-yard line. It's a gain of six, and that makes it second down and four for East Central. 13 minutes and 17 seconds to go in the third quarter. Arkansas Tech 14 East Central three, three receivers to the right, open field left for Kenny Hernseer. He takes the snap and rolls the pocket to his right, throws downfield, man wide open inside oh, the 30. Mercy. Catch is made, reception by Jaquan Lincoln, and Lincoln is wrestled down at the 21-yard line. The gain on the play for East Central is 24 yards, and it is another first down for the Tigers. And we'll see if this Arkansas Tech defense that has been so tough in these situations. They've given up some yardage tonight, but they've been able to always yeah, find a way to get the stop when they needed it, and they'll have to do it again here on first and 10 East Central from the Arkansas Tech 21. Hearns here throws near side, complete to Laquan Wells. Wells 
is inside the 20 and down to the 16-yard line. A pickup of five on first down. We'll make it second down and five for the Tigers. The Wonder Boys will shuttle in some fresh defensive linemen, Lehman Howell and Devin Burns among them. It'll be second down and five for the Tigers from the Arkansas Tech 16-yard line. East Central 0 for 1 on red zone scoring opportunities so far tonight. Hand off to Miles Davis. Davis Miles goes Davis up the middle and will be stopped at the 12-yard line following a gain of four. Just short, it appears, of the line to gain. And it will be third down and a long yard here for East Central. East Central 6 out of 10 on third down conversion so far tonight. Two receivers left, one to the right for quarterback Kenny Hernseer. Hearns here with a hard snap count, and East Central flinched. I believe we're going to have a false start against the Tigers, and we do. Yes. That'll cost them five yards, and instead of third and one, it'll be third and six. That's a good break. It'll move the football back to the 17-yard line of Arkansas Tech. That's at least the third time tonight that the Tigers have committed a penalty when they've been on the move and have halted their own progress. On the two previous occasions, it really took them out of a scoring opportunity. We'll see what happens here. It's third down and six from the Arkansas Tech 17-yard line. 11.33 to go in the third. Arkansas Tech leading 14-3. to three, Thanks to a plus two turnover margin. Hearnseer has the snap. Hearnseer ducks his head and he is down. Taken down to the 21-yard line, quarterback sack recorded, recorded for Arkansas Tech by Victor Hill, the graduate student linebacker who had two quarterback sacks at Southeastern Oklahoma State nine days ago, and he gets another one here to force East Central into a 37-yard field goal attempt from the right hash mark by left-footed kicker Alexis Lopez. Lopez was good from 41 yards early in the second quarter. This try from 37, it is on its way, a low kick, but it's got the distance and it is through the uprights and our new score with 10 minutes and 47 seconds to go in the third quarter is, e is Arkansas Tech 14 East Central 6 in the Alathus Realty Broadcast booth. It is a one minute break. This is Wonder Boys Football. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm Scott, and I'm Corey. That day, the Wonder Boys will be talking, uh, taking on Southern Arkansas starting at 2 p.m. This year's homecoming king and queen will be announced prior to the game. And at halftime, ATU Athletics will be celebrating the 50th anniversary of Title IX with a special on-field recognition of former Golden Sun student athletes, coaches, and athletic staff members. For more information on all homecoming activities, go to atualumni.com slash homecoming. Oscar Simon will kick off for East Central. goes over to East Central. The football's a 23-yard line. Aaron 
Tamar Herod. Herod stopped after a gain of three, and it'll be second down and seven for East Central. Ten minutes and 18 seconds to go in the third quarter. 14 to six is the Arkansas Tech lead, but East Central trying to cash in the Wonder Boys' first turnover of the night. Two receivers left, two to the, or I should say three to the right now. The two receivers left are Jackson Allen and Namir Herod. Kenny Hernseer all alone in the backfield on second down and seven. Hernseer takes the snap, throws to his left. It is too tall for his intended receiver, Namir Herod. There with the coverage for Arkansas Tech was Stanley Bentley. And the incompletion will bring up third down and seven now for East Central. The line of scrimmage remains the Arkansas Tech 20. And a chance here to perhaps hold the Tigers to another field goal try. Kenny Hearns here taking a long look to the far sideline for the play call. Need some good pressure on the quarterback this time. 9.51 to go in the third. Arkansas Tech leads 14 to six on third down and seven. Hearns here rolling right, throwing right, short hops his intended receiver, and the reason he short hopped it is he was under intense pressure there right on the heels of the quarterback for Arkansas Tech. It was Tayshawn Nelson, a freshman defensive lineman for Arkansas Tech out of Zachary, Louisiana, forcing that incompletion and bringing back onto the field after a very brief break. It's only been one minute and one second since his last field goal try. And now it'll be Alexis Lopez from the exact same distance he was true from just a moment ago. A 37 yarder this time from between the hash marks. Kick is on its way. It is no good. No good, no good for Alexis Lopez, his first miss of the season. And the fumbled kickoff return by Arkansas Tech ends up doing absolutely no harm at all. The Wonder Boys might have lost three yards of field position in the whole deal, and it'll be first and 10 Arkansas Tech from its own 20 following the missed field goal by East Central here with nine minutes and 40 seconds to go in the third. And once again, it is this Arkansas Tech defense with its back to the wall coming up with a stop. Dodged a bullet right there, didn't he? Tay Gatewood leads the Arkansas Tech offense onto the field. Gatewood eight of 18 passing so far for 66 yards and two touchdowns. He'll be flanked here by two setbacks. Devontae Dean to his right. Let's get us a good 80 yard drive right here. The other setback, Deion Simmons goes in motion. Quarterback draw, Gatewood running left, one man to beat, gets around the corner. He's got some yardage and he's forced out of bounds over the 25 yard line. Forced out over on that far side for East Central by Keontae Lust. Is that a flag or something? Or? There were definitely some no. whistles. May have just been kind of a keeping them separated over on yep. the sideline situation. Had a little conversation going on. Gain of five on the run by Gatewood. That, able to put Gatewood, Gatewood there in a one-on-one -on -one situation to be able to pick up yardage, and he beat that man to the corner. Good recovery by East Central to hold him to a five-yard gain. And it's second down and five for the Wonder Boys with 9.19 to go in the third, and Arkansas Tech leading 14-6. to six. Gatewood, another quarterback run. Up the middle, over the 30. Spins off a tackle at the 35. The Bonnie ball comes fumble. out. Ball comes out, recovered by Damas Green. Green returning the fumble down the far sideline. Inside the 25 and down to the 20 goes Damas Green. And East Central, for the second time in about the last two minutes, has forced an Arkansas Tech turnover deep in Wonder Boys territory. And once again, East Central will start inside the Arkansas Tech 25-yard line. And I do not know how many times it is reasonable to expect the Arkansas Tech defense to just keep on coming up with these stops, but they're going to have to do it again. Well, East Central defense just creating turnovers left and right right now. There's, they're playing very aggressive, hitting that ball, trying to get it, trying to get those turnovers, knocking it out. Gatewood spun around as he went over the 35-yard line, and then it was the second man who came in and delivered the hit that jarred the football loose. And so the Wonder Boys have committed two turnovers here early in the third quarter. The turnover margin. Now even at two apiece. And on first and 10 from the Tech 21, Kenny Hearns here is in the shotgun. Miles Davis is his running back. He's got Greg Howell among the receivers to his left. Two receivers right. Hearns here awaits the snap. Has it. Option play left. He pitches it to Miles Davis. Davis tries to get the corner. Forced toward the boundary, though, and he's out of bounds. Forced out by Victor Hill. They're going to get Victor for a late hit. He gave him a little extra shove. It was no more than a love tap, but it was five or six steps out of bounds, and he left him no choice but to throw the flag. And so that'll be half the distance to the goal from the end of the play. 
The end of the play was the 18-yard line. That'll move the football down to the nine. It'll be first and goal East Central. And this time it is the Wonder Boys who make the mistake in the penalty category. Don't need stuff like that. You gotta, you gotta play a little smarter than that. And we do have a halftime score. Henderson State 35, Northwest Oklahoma 14. Maybe having some internet connections up there in Alva. So we'll try to keep up with that. That was from our commissioner. He sent us a text. You can always count on the commissioner. Eight, the commission. min eight, eight minutes and 52 seconds to go in the third quarter. Arkansas Tech 14, East Central 6. And now after the penalty, the Tigers do indeed have it first and goal with the Arkansas Tech 9. Hearns here takes the snap, throws across the middle. Intercepted! Picked off the two-yard line. And there's a lot of green grass in front of the man with the football for Arkansas Tech. He sidesteps Hearns here down the near boundary with the football. It's Javon Love, and only Miles Davis can track him down from behind at the East Central 21-yard line. It's an interception by Javon Love, sophomore defensive back for Arkansas Tech out of Carbondale, Illinois, a transfer from Quincy University. And Javon Love with the interception and then a return of 75 yards down to the East Central 23-yard line, and it's first and 10 for the Wonder Boys with 8.31 to go. And I asked the question, how many times can you expect this Arkansas Tech defense to make a stop deep in its own territory? And they had at least one well, more. Let's say one more, and he went directly for that turnover belt. Have you seen the belt, Sam? I have. Take Aikwood on first and 10 from the East Central 23-yard line. Two receivers left, one to the right. Jorion Chase is the receiver right. Devontae Dean is the running back. Hand off to Dean. Dean up the middle, following Larry Clark into that hole, and he goes down to the 20-yard line. A gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down and seven for the Wonder Boys after the electrifying interception and long return by Javon Love. We can thank Brent Linker. Kevin Van Ness for that turnover belt. And I do appreciate those guys. I know it has meant a lot to the, to the young men on the football roster here at Arkansas Tech to have that. It's something that they can use to celebrate when something like that happens. One receiver right, one to the left. Tay Gatewood in the shotgun on second down and seven from the East Central 20-yard line. Jorion Chase is the man in motion. And off to Devontae Dean, full head of steam inside the 15 and down to the 13-yard line goes Devontae Dean. Layman Howell. Also in on that defensive line right now for Arkansas Tech, Arion Banks. Second down for East Central. Hand off again to Herod. Herod goes up the middle and is spun down to the turf. Tackle made for Arkansas Tech by Jaden Duhart. Duhart makes the tackle at the 29, but it is enough for an East Central first down. As the Tigers pick up seven on second down and six. Now Hearns here ready to go again. Takes the snap. Again gives to Herod. Herod between the tackles once more. And he is taken down as he goes over the 35-yard line. Dives forward up close to the 37, maybe the 38. Again, the tackle made for Arkansas Tech by Jaden Duhart. It's second down and two for the Tigers after a gain of eight. The line of scrimmage is the East Central 37. Tigers very up-tempo here. And staying on the ground, this time Miles Davis gets the carry. He will have the first down. And East Central offensive lineman uses, loses his hat. Davis is stopped at the 43-yard line. Among the Wonder Boys in on that tackle, once again, Jaden Duhart, along with Christian Cole. Matthew Minnick's also there for Arkansas Tech. Stopped at the 43-yard line, will move the chains. And it is first down and 10, East Central. The lost helmet forcing East Central to, at least for the moment, slow down. Maybe that'll give this Tech defense a chance to gather itself. And off to Davis. Davis tries right, and he is clobbered. Stopped for a loss. Among the first Wonder Boys there to drive him and wow, push him Davis backwards were Kevin Carlton, along with Tayshawn Nelson. Tayshawn Nelson and Braxton Johnson, two freshman defensive linemen that I know head coach Kyle Ship is very big on for not only the future, but right now. Loss of the yard, yeah. second down, They're playing very well. Loss of one back to the 42. Makes it second down and 11 for East Central. 4.18 to go in the third. Wonder Boys lead 21 to 6. Pressure. Under pressure and down goes Hearns here. Quarterback sack for Arkansas Tech. Quarterback. Back near the 30 yard line. Getting there to make the stop for Arkansas Tech was Kobe Edwards. Gave him the 32. 
down at the 32. That will make it third down and 21 for East Central. Third down, 21 yards to go. Quarterback sack recorded by Kobe Edwards, the senior defensive end for Arkansas Tech out of Burnett, Texas. Third and very long for Hernseer. He has the snap. Throws it short and complete to the far side of the field. It is Miles Davis with it, and he is forced out of bounds after a very short gain. Stop made for Arkansas Tech. Moved on that far sideline by Jordan Furch. And on fourth down and about, oh, about 19 or 18, East Central will have to punt it away from its own 34-yard line as that quarterback sack by Kobe Edwards figured prominently in that possession. See if we can turn the, turn the field here. So many big plays by this Arkansas Tech defense here tonight. The interceptions, the forced fumbles, fumble recovery, and now a couple of quarterback sacks that have halted East Central drives. Punt lands at the 35-yard uh, line, roll. and Reese Connor will be the beneficiary of a lot of bounce and roll here as this one will go all the way down to the 12-yard line of Arkansas Tech before it comes to rest. It ends up being a 54-yard punt. About the last 25 were on the ground. I wish we could have gotten to that one. It'll be first down and 10 for the Wonder Boys from their own 12 with two minutes and 56 seconds to go in the third quarter. And the Wonder Boys, who led 14-6 at halftime, now leading 21-6. Tay Gatewood has accounted for all three Arkansas Tech touchdowns tonight, two passing and one rushing. And he'll lead the Arkansas Tech offense onto the field for first and 10 from the Tech 12. Dayton Keller is in at tight end. Gatewood waits in the shotgun. He will hand it off on first down. Deion Simmons trying to bounce it outside to the right, but good containment there by Jawan King for East Central. He blew up that play for Arkansas Tech. Correction, not Juwan King. It was actually for East Central. Instead of 25, it was 26. Malinsky Desire who made that key play to really him in, the ball carrier for Arkansas Tech. No gain on the run by Deion Simmons. And now on second down and 12 from the Arkansas Tech 12-yard line, Gatewood will once again operate from the shotgun. He has the snap. Looks to throw deep down the near boundary, looking for Cousins. It is caught. Good catch. Adam Cousins caught it. Was he inbounds? I believe he was. Two officials looking at each other, and they say yes. It is a 37-yard reception for Adam Cousins on a beautifully thrown ball by Tay Gatewood, and Arkansas Tech has a fleet tire point S first down at its own 49-yard line with 2.05 to go in the third, and the Wonder Boys leading 21-6. to Beautiful pass. Gatewood's 10th completion of the night. He works from the shotgun. Hands it off to Devontae Dean. Dean runs up the middle. Devon Roush had the first contact defensively for East Central. Good Dean, Dean able to push the pile with some help from his friends down inside the 45 to the 44-yard line. So it's a gain of seven on first down. And second down and three forthcoming for Arkansas Tech. Give you a lot of options on second and short. Tay Gatewood from the shotgun. Three receivers left, one to the right. The one to the right is Brandon Hunter. Gatewood throws short and complete to his running back, Deion Simmons. Simmons spun down at the 41-yard line. Open field tackle Deion made Simmons. by Very Cody Alexander for East Central. Should have the first. And it should be enough for another fleet tire point S first down for Arkansas Tech. They're going to wait and let the referee say for sure. They haven't moved the chains yet. They're not really sure if it's a first down or not. I haven't seen an indication from an official. Have you, Kelly? Uh, did he? Did he? Yes. Okay. The official on the tech side pointed first down. Okay. So they are going to move the chains now. It is first and 10, Arkansas Tech, the East Central 41-yard line. And the pass from Gatewood to Deion Simmons. Under a minute to go in the third. Arkansas Tech with a 15-point lead. Two receivers right, one to the left for Tay Gatewood. Gatewood hands it off. Trying to bounce it outside right, Devontae Dean. But three East Central defenders <laughs> impeded his progress. Led by Cameron Jones. They've gotten a half yard there. Well, they're going to give him the 40. Give him a yard. So it'll be second down and nine from there for Arkansas Tech. 
And that may very well turn out to be the final play of the third quarter. We'll see how head coach Kyle Ship and the Wonder Boys want to play it here. It looks like they're going. Second down and nine. Could let the quarter expire if they wanted to. East Central with two down line when a defensive yep. end standing up over on the far side. They're just trying to get them to jump off sides. Let it wind down. Five, four, three, two, and one. And that is the end of the third quarter and in Russellville, where the score is Arkansas Tech 21, East Central 6. Can the Wonder Boys finish? We will find out in 30 seconds from the Alathus Realty broadcast booth. This is Arkansas Tech football. First State Bank is proud to serve our community, a community made of hardworking friends and neighbors, folks who make our community better. You're why we offer personal helpful service and convenient digital tools. You make our town what it is, deeply rooted, community driven. First State Bank, these are our stone grounds. Visit fsbmybank.com to learn more. Never FDIC. Arkansas. We head to the final 15 minutes here at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field. You know the story from nine days ago in Durant when the Wonder Boys had an 11-point lead in the fourth quarter and saw Southeastern Oklahoma State come back to tie that game, ultimately force overtime, and the Savage Storm ended up winning at 41-34 to in double overtime. Tonight it's the Wonder Boys with a 15-point lead against East Central University as we head to the fourth quarter. The difference is here, Arkansas Tech has the football. It is second down and nine in East Central Territory at the 40-yard line. And you feel like, Kelly, if you could somehow figure out a way to go down and punch this in for a touchdown right now, you might just break their spirit a little bit. I think, I think so. You're seeing it a little bit right now. They've, they've been so disappointed on some of the turnovers that they have created. But this East Central defense, they're hanging in there. They're trying to keep them in the game. The first play of the fourth quarter will be second down and nine for the Wonder Boys from the East Central 40-yard line. Hand off Dean. Dean, full head of steam, hits the hole hard, and he collides with East Central's Devon Roush. Dean ends up being taken to the turf at the 33-yard line. Gain on the play will be seven. It'll be third down and two upcoming for Arkansas Tech. You like that third and short. Gatewood wants to go quickly. Jorion Chase, the lone receiver right on third down and two. Hand off Dean. Dean runs left. He bounces off one tackler, and he's not going to get there. He did not get to the line to gain. He picked up one, but he needed two. And it'll be fourth down and one for Arkansas Tech from the East Central 31-yard line. And I believe the Wonder Boys will probably go for it. Brings oh. up fourth down and one. It is the first fourth down conversion try of the night for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys were three out of four on fourth down conversion tries in the season opener against Southeastern Oklahoma State. This is fourth and one from the East Central 32. Gatewood will take the snap. He hands it off to Keon Simmons. There we Simmons go. with the burst inside the 25, inside the 20, and down to the 16 yard line goes Keon Simmons Keon with a gain of 16. And it's a fleet tire point S first down for the Wonder Boys. First down. What blocking by the left side of that Arkansas Tech offensive line led by the tackle, Jason Richardson. They cleared a path, and Keon Simmons followed it. Misdirection handoff. Good job. This time it's Deion Simmons, twin brother of Keon, who gets there the carry. He, he bounces off the tackle, and he's in. Touchdown, Arkansas Tech, as the Simmons brothers get it done for Arkansas Tech on this drive. It is a 16-yard run for Deion Simmons. Right after his brother, Keon, had a 16-yard run, they cover the final 32 yards of the possession, and the Wonder Boys lead 27-6, pending the extra point by Jesus Zazumbo. That's the Mr. Break and Lube extra point. The placement is down. The kick is away. It is good, and our new score with 13 minutes and 27 seconds to go in the fourth quarter is Arkansas Tech 28, East Central 6. At the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we step aside for a one-minute break. This is Wonder Boys football. A lot goes into taking care of your property. You need equipment with more reliability, durability, and versatility built in like number one selling Kubota, BX, and L-Series compact tractors. 
Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Visit your local Kubota dealer for a demo today. In the River Valley, see River Valley Tractor on Weir Road in Russellville. For over 70 years, Old South Restaurant at 1330 East Main Street in Russellville has been faithfully serving the River Valley. Whether it's starting your day with a good old-fashioned breakfast or helping you make it through the workday with a hearty home-styled lunch and, of course, serving your family with a dinner that would even make your mama proud. Old South Restaurants on Main Street in Russellville. We're here for you. We're here for you, so come on by Old South. The scoring drive for Arkansas Tech was nine plays, 88 yards. It took four minutes and 29 seconds and resulted in the 16-yard run by Deion Simmons. Deion Simmons with his second rushing touchdown of the season. And for Deion's career, that is rushing touchdown number five now for the sophomore from Mayflower. He and his brother, Keon, figured prominently in that drive, along with some also some good running by Devontae Dean earlier in the possession. Those three running backs really shouldering the load on that drive for Arkansas Tech. And now Jesus Zazumbo set to kick it back to East Central. It's an end-over-ender that will be fielded on a fair catch by Greg Howell, and East Central will start at its own 25, and it gives us a chance to take a look at the A Better Way Realty GAC scoreboard. All right now, Southern Arkansas has come back. They lead Southwest Oklahoma 20-14, to 14, five minutes to go in the third quarter. It is UA Monticello 40, Oklahoma Baptist 10, 8.50 to go in the third quarter. It is Washita all over Southern Nazarene. 45 to 0, and the fourth quarter has just started there. And we're going to halftime. Harding 17, and it is Southeast Oklahoma 7. And the Henderson State game against Northwest Oklahoma is still in halftime. So they scored on five or five of their six possessions in the first half. So Henderson State offense is rolling. Kenny Hearn, Sear, the quarterback for East Central, takes the snap on first down and 10 from his own 25, throws deep, has Howell, Howell, unable to reel it in. Tried to make a diving catch at the Arkansas Tech 45-yard line, but it falls incomplete, and it'll be second down and 10 for East Central. That long 37-yard pass from Tay Gatewood to Adam Cousins set the table for that Arkansas Tech drive, but after that, 48 of the final 51 yards of that touchdown drive for the Wonder Boys were of the rushing variety. When you've got a lead in the fourth quarter, that's got to do the coaching staff's heart well to be able to see, go out there and just own the line of scrimmage and run the football like that and go down and punch it in for seven points. Oh, absolutely. Kenny Hearns here running, rolling out to his right. He steps right. out of bounds for a gain of one at the 26. It'll bring up third down and nine and a really valuable opportunity right now for the Arkansas Tech defense to secure a three and out and get the football right back to that Arkansas football Tech team. offense as we're about to go under 13 minutes remaining and Arkansas Tech in control of this game with a 28-6 lead. Hearns here will work from the shotgun on third down and nine from his own 26. He's got three receivers left and one to his right. Three down linemen for the Wonder Boys. They'll bring two extra rushers. Hearns here throws incomplete to the near side and East Central will have to punt it away on fourth down and nine from its own 26. The Arkansas Tech defense gets the three and out and this, Kelly, has been one of the better defensive performances we've seen by the Wonder Boys in a number of years. You know what, they're doing a great job. Like you said earlier in the game, they are bending but not breaking and they haven't had to do that much of that bending here lately. Well, that drive, they said, we're done with that bending yeah, stuff. No, no more bending. You gave up one yard and getting the football right back. They've held East Central tonight to 205 yards of total offense. The punt by Reese Connor is away, and it is caught inside the 35-yard line. Adam Cousins brings it toward the near boundary and goes out of bounds. Late penalty flag comes in. They might have got East Central for a little extra late push there. That might tack some yardage onto the end of this play. Yeah. Cousins East, was out of bounds <laughs> at his own 39. The guilty East Central player, he made a beeline for the other sideline. He turned tail pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, he did not want to be caught. 
Oh, nope. Oh, wow. They've got the Wonder Boys for an illegal blindside block. And so instead of adding yardage to the end of that play, they'll be subtracting yardage. And that brings us to a timeout on the field. 12 minutes and 32 seconds left in this one. Arkansas Tech leads 28 to 6. And the Alathus Realty Broadcast booth, we take a one minute break. You are listening to the Wonder Boys. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, 2304 East Main, Russellville. When it comes to buying or selling a home, there really is a better way. As soon as you start talking with our team at A Better Way Realty in Russellville, you're going to feel the difference. Imagine if you had a great friend in the real estate industry, someone who genuinely cared about you and your family and was passionate about taking care of you. That is the philosophy of everyone who works here at A Better Way Realty. We want your business because we earn it, period. Discover what experience and heart can do with A Better Way Realty. Find us on Facebook and see the difference. A Better Way Realty. Real estate done a better way. 12 minutes and 32 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Arkansas Tech leading 28 to 6. And at quarterback for this play, it is Ryan Wilkerson, the Wildcat quarterback for Arkansas Tech. He hands it off on first down, and Devontae Dean has a gain of a couple. Looks like we have a wonder boy, I hope, with just a leg cramp down in pain at about the 20-yard line. It's one of the Arkansas Tech offensive linemen. And checking in to replace him will be Garrett Jaskin. And it'll take us to a timeout on the field. 12.20 to go in the fourth. Tech leads 28 to six. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast booth in 30 seconds. This is Wonder Boys football. This is Todd, market president with Centennial Bank. We're more than just a financial institution. We pride ourselves on being community focused and connected. Hi, I'm Charlie, business development officer with Centennial Bank. As a lifelong resident of the River Valley, I am proud to be part of a team that brings passion, pride, and dedication to our communities. Supporting our community starts with people like myself and Charlie, who know and love the River Valley area, which is why we're always banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank is proud to support the place we call home. NMLS number 564245, number FDIC equal housing manager. I want to pass along best wishes and good luck to the Arkansas Tech women's golf team as the Joey Baldwin era at Arkansas Tech will begin this coming week as coach Baldwin in his first year as the head men's and women's golf coach at Arkansas Tech will lead the Golden Suns into action Monday and Tuesday in the Northeastern State University Classic over in Oklahoma. You can watch ArkansasTechSports.com Monday and Tuesday for results from that tournament. The injured wonder boy was left tackle Jason Richardson. It was just a leg cramp, and he's going to work that out on the sideline. As the wonder boys shift things around up front, ahead of this second down and nine play. Handoff around left end on the run. Devontae Dean. Dean calling out blocks in front of him, and then stiff arms another man as he goes out of bounds at the 41-yard line. A pickup of 19 yards on second down and nine. It is a fleet tire point as first down for the wonder boys. And right now, Kelly, you're looking for one of those soul-crushing ground-and-pound drives to yes, just drain some time off that clock but and take any remaining hope away from the Tigers. You can do that with Mr. Dean, six foot, 225. Dean now with 10 carries for 58 yards on the night. Keon Simmons is the running back, fake to him, throw near side, complete for Jordan Eddington. Eddington is forced out of bounds by Orlando Brown. The gain is to the 47-yard line, a pickup of six. And it'll be second down and four for Arkansas Tech. There's you another weapon, Eddington, 6'2", 260, tight end. Tay Gatewood is the quarterback for Arkansas Tech. Gatewood now 11 of 21 passing for 113 yards and two touchdowns. He hands it off to Keon Simmons, burst of speed around right in. He'll have the first down before he is stopped at the East Central 45-yard line. A pickup of eight for Keon Simmons. He has six carries for 40 yards. And the clock rolls under 11 minutes as the Wonder Boys secure their fifth, or should say now 16th, Fleet Tire Point S first down of the game. Got a player 
Cameron Jones for East Central was a little shaken up on that one, so he'll have to check out for at least a play while they give him a look. Mason Ross is in at wide receiver for Arkansas Tech. He will go to the far side of the field. Jorion Chase and Matthew Rivera are the receivers on the near side of the field. Dion Simmons is the running back this time for quarterback Tay Gatewood. Gatewood in the shotgun on first down and first down and 10 from the ECU 45. Under pressure, unloads, near side, penalty flags fly. Well, the ball the was ball. caught by many, by I should say by uh, Rivera. Are they going to rule that catch? Yes, they are. Okay. Now we have to wait and see what the penalty flag is indicative of as they somehow say Rivera came down with that football at the 19-yard line. It's a pickup of 26 yards if it stands. The officials will talk it over. One would assume that was going to be pass interference against East Central. They're looking for an East Central number. And that is the case. So that penalty will be declined. And it is a fleet tire point S first down at the East Central 19-yard line on an incredible catch by Matthew Rivera. So incredible. I didn't think there was any way he was going to make it until he came down to the turf somehow with the football. Tay Gatewood from the shotgun on first and 10 from the East Central 19. He fakes the handoff, lobs it toward the far corner. It is, did he get a foot down with the football? Yes, Touchdown. he did. Touchdown, Arkansas Tech, a grab on the far side of the field. Matthew Rivera with back-to-back -back phenomenal catches to cap that drive and seal this victory for Arkansas Tech with 10 minutes and 25 seconds to go. It is 34 to six, Wonder Boys. A 19-yard touchdown pass from Tay Gatewood to Matthew Rivera. Just moments after, Rivera made that incredible catch on the near sideline. Now Zazumbo to try his fifth extra point of the night. Placement is down, kick is away. It is good, and our new score with 10 minutes and 25 seconds remaining is Arkansas Tech 35, East Central 6. Here at the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we step aside for a one minute break. This is Wonder Boys Football. Alethus Realty is proud to support all of our local student athletes. At Alethus Realty, we believe the community comes first and there's nothing quite like community than cheering on your favorite team from the stands. Alethus Realty is committed to provide our area with gold standard service in every aspect of your real estate transaction. So whether you're loading up to go to the game or settling in for an evening at home, you can rest assured Alethus Realty is taking care of you. Call us today, 479-968-5668. Alethus Realty, we put the real in real estate. Find us on Facebook today. The heater broke down, had to act fast. Wiggled some wires, I broke the thermostat. My wife got cold and no started to freeze. She said, hey man, got a call, actually, actually air. Dot com. The heater breaks down, they're the one you want. Actually air. Dot com. Fast and they're good and they got it going on. Number the technician showed up the very same day. It's right fast, he was on his way. Next time your heater breaks, you know who to call. There's only one choice. Actually, I got call. As a beautiful full moon comes into view out to our east, Arkansas Tech now leading 35 to 6 after a 19 yard touchdown pass from Tay Gatewood to Matthew Rivera. The ensuing kickoff by Jesus Zazumbo comes down to Greg Howell at the goal line. He's running left out over the 10 to the 15, spun down at the 17 yard line. All Special team stop Greg made Howell. for Arkansas Tech by Brandon Hunter. And it'll be first down and 10 East Central from its own 17 yard line. And I suspect between now and next Saturday, the Tigers might have some conversations about the merits of fair catches on those kickoffs. That's very true. The ball is spotted at the East Central 18-yard line. I missed out on about uh, five, seven yards right there without the fair catch. And it's not the first time. Ten minutes and 18 seconds to go. Of course, they've had plenty of opportunities for kickoff returns because the Wonder Boys have scored five touchdowns. Pass to the near side, complete to Laquan Wells. Wells will be stacked up the 25-yard line and stopped after a gain of seven, maybe just six to the 24. Regardless, the Wonder Boys make the stop well short of the line to gain. Christian Cole and Matthew Minix leading the way on that tackle for Arkansas Tech. And it is second down and four for the Tigers from their own 24. Hernseer hands it off, running between the tackles, and they will not get to the line to gain, at least on the first try. But now the pile is, the momentum is stopped, and so they whistle the play dead on the Namir Herod carry. 
He was stopped by, among others, Arkansas Tech's First Davion down, Smith. And, and one of the heroes of this game, Javon Love, who had a big play earlier on in the contest defensively for Arkansas Tech. There have been so many big plays defensively for the Wonder Boys tonight. It would be difficult to recount them all. 9-18 to play. Handoff. Herod, Herod goes up the middle and he will have the first down. Herod, as he met Kevin Carlton and was able to stay on his feet long enough to get to that marker. Up at the 29 yard line. And it's first and 10 East Central from there, but the clock just continues to roll. It goes under nine minutes to play. And Arkansas Tech in control of this game, 35 to six. It was 14 to six at halftime. And it's been all Wonder Boys in the second half. Hearnseer avoids the rush from Victor Hill and then just has to throw it away into the far boundary. Excellent pressure on the quarterback by Victor Hill, forcing that incompletion. And it'll be second down and 10 East Central. Line of scrimmage remains the Tigers 29. A reminder, the Wonder Boys are home again next Saturday night for Family Day against Washita Baptist. It'll be a 6 p.m. kickoff party at the plaza. We'll begin out on the Craybaugh Hall lawn pregame tailgating at 3 p.m next Saturday. Family Day, always one of our better atmospheres of the year, and we hope you'll come out and join us for what promises to be a great night of college football against a high caliber opponent in Washita Baptist next Saturday night. Now right now, they have a 45-0 lead over Southern Nazarene. 548 left in that game. Bless the hearts of the Crimson Storm. Tough night. Tough night. Third down and three for East Central from its own 36. Now Hernseer across the middle, catch is made. It'll be enough for a first down, stumbling forward for some extra yardage as Laquan Wells with eight minutes and eight seconds left to play. He will have an East Central first down and Jackson McFarlane, one of the Tigers receivers, is down injured. And goodness, you hope that he's okay. He is a key piece of their puzzle and a senior wide receiver who's been a big part of their roster for a number of years, a hometown boy from Ada, Oklahoma, where East Central is located. And just hope this is not a serious injury for him, but he is. Looks like he got rolled up into that tackle right there. Wrong place at the wrong time. As they take a look at Jackson McFarland here in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we will step aside for a 30 second break. This is Arkansas Tech football. At Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash Max at Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. Jackson, Jackson McFarland will be helped from the field and heading over to the far sideline. And, you know, I, it, on the list of things it could be, you hope it's the ankle and then not a little bit higher than that. Yeah. Show sure, respect, Coach Shep out there. And all these coaches in the league, they have a good relationship. Yeah, he offered Jackson a towel and to kind of wipe the sweat away as he, after he took his helmet off and was being treated. He comes with eight minutes and eight seconds left. McFarland still making his way off the field. He's able to do so largely under his own power, and hopefully that's an indication that it might not be a knee. The kind of thing that could take away the rest of his senior season. Two receivers left, two to the right. Wonder Boys showing blitz here on first down and 10, and they will bring some extra pressure. Hearns here throws deep down the middle, has a man. Oh. Howell makes the catch at the 20-yard line. Open. Wrapped up and taken down there yeah. by Matt oh, Arnold. Please. The Wonder Boys brought the extra Number pressure. Four, it did not quite get home, and that's what created the opening downfield for four, Greg Howell control, as he down. takes the football to the Arkansas Tech 17-yard line, a gain of 38 on the pass from Kenny Hearns here. And it's first line. and 10 for the Tigers from the Arkansas Tech 17 with 7.39 to play. And the Wonder Boys leading 35 to 6. Hearns here throws short and complete to Namar Herod. And then Herod dropped it after he had it for a moment. Incomplete pass is the ruling from the near side. An incomplete pass. And it'll be second down and 10 for East Central from the Arkansas Tech 17. Anthony, Anthony Wright lost his helmet again. Once again, that's twice now for him. 
It'll be second down and 10 for East Central at the Arkansas Tech 17 yard line. Perhaps East Central gets their chin straps from the same place as the University of uh, Cincinnati. Yeah, possibly. Could be. Bit of a discussion around the state a week ago. Second down and 10 as Hearnseer takes the snap, throws to the far side, catch is made by Jake Berry. Berry is forced out of bounds, looks to be short of the yard to gain. They've got him down just inside the 10 for a gain of seven. Let's call it the nine yard line and third down and two. Third and two from the Arkansas Tech nine. Hearnseer in the shotgun. Lay clock at 21, seven minutes and nine seconds left in the game. Tigers looking for their first touchdown of the night. So far, they've been held to two field goals. Hearnseer takes the snap, option play left. He keeps and is taken down. Davion Smith got the second hit. The first hit was delivered by Kevin Carlton. And they combined to make the tackle. Very close to the line to gain, but I don't think he got there. He is short of the first down. He is Kenny Hearnseer on the quarterback keeper on the option play. Fourth down. It is fourth and one from the Arkansas Tech eight yard line. East Central so far tonight, 0 for 1 on fourth down conversion tries. They need to get to the Arkansas Tech seven here. The line of scrimmage is the eight. The running back is N Namir Herod. Three receivers right, one to the left for quarterback Kenny Hernseer. Fourth and one from the eight. Hernseer gives to Herod. Herod goes up the middle and will have the first down. He was able to spin his way up to the three-yard line before he went down. A gain of five on fourth down and one will make it first and goal from three. But the clock is very much the Wonder Boy's friend at this point in the proceedings. As we go under six minutes left, the handoff is to Herod. Herod goes up the middle and is stopped short of the goal line. This Arkansas Tech defense is going to do everything it can to keep that clean sheet in terms of touchdowns as they make a stop at the one-yard line. There is a Wonder Boy shaken up on the play. And while they come out to yeah, tend to down. that injured Wonder Boy here in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we will step aside for a one-minute break. Arkansas Tech leads 35-6, to six, and this is Wonder Boys football. It's that time of year again to start thinking about reviewing your Medicare plan. Hi, I'm Mike Giroux with Giroux & Associates and Medicare Specialists of Arkansas, reminding you to take the time to allow a local agent to assist you with your Medicare plan review. Choosing the wrong plan can cause you to spend money unnecessarily, cause you to lose valuable benefits, or cause you to have to change a provider you currently use. Don't be fooled by the misleading commercials on TV. Call a local agent to assist you with finding a plan that best meets your need. I'm your local Medicare Specialist. Call me at 479-857-2810. ABC Children's Academy is currently enrolling for the 2022 school year with 14 locations in Pope, Johnson, and Yale County. ABC provides all-day child care, as well as a variety of enrollment options for families, including Arkansas Better Chance for ages 3 to 5, plus more. Visit abcchildrensacademy.com for more info and come by their central office on 4th Street in Russellville to apply in person or call 567-5650. ABC Children's Academy, changing our world one student at a time. The injured wonder boy was Christian Cole, but he is able to leave the field under his own power, and that's probably a good sign. Now head coach Kyle Ship also able to leave the field under his own power after he came out to check on Christian along with Duke Walden, the head athletic trainer at Arkansas Tech. And it's second down and goal now for East Central from the one-yard line. Hernseer the quarterback, Herod is the running back. Hernseer will keep it himself, and he is going to be into the end zone for East Central's first touchdown of the night. It comes with five minutes and 30 seconds remaining. And the Tigers now will either try the extra point or go for two. But Arkansas Tech remains in firm control of this game with a 35 to 12 lead, despite the touchdown by the Tigers. For Kenny Hernseer, obviously his first touchdown of tonight's ball game. As we look back over their numbers from a week ago, it's also his first rushing touchdown of the season. A year ago, Hernseer had seven rushing touchdowns for the Tigers. 10-35 in Weatherford. Southwest Oklahoma has taken the lead over Southern Arkansas, 21-20. Southwestern trying to break a long losing streak. The extra point by Alexis Lopez is up and good, and our new score with five minutes and 30 seconds remaining is Arkansas Tech 35, 
East Central 13 in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth. It's a 30 second break. This is Wonder Boys football. The folks at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air wants to take a moment not only to thank you for your business, but also the opportunity to work for you and give your family full house comfort. Every kind word that you put online and personal recommendation to your friends and family is appreciated. Customers like you are not only vital to their business, but vital to making our community as great as it is. From their family to yours, thank you. From Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air. The scoring drive for East Central University was 13 plays, 82 yards. It took four minutes and 48 seconds resulting in the one-yard touchdown run by quarterback Kenny Hernseer. And now with five minutes and 30 seconds left, and Arkansas Tech leading 35 to 13, the Wonder Boys are lining up with the expectation that they might see an onside kick here from the Tigers. One key man in this scenario for Arkansas Tech is Jorion Chase, who waits back at his own 40 yard line. The Tigers could, with Arkansas Tech having 10 men up this close, they could just try to kind of pooch kick it over everyone and go dive on it. That's what they're gonna do. They send it down inside the 35 and that key man, Jorion Chase, does indeed get back to cover the football. And he takes a seat at the 29 yard line. A penalty flag comes in. Nice job there by Jorion Chase to read that kick. A little extracurricular activity, possibly. The officials will discuss it and relay their judgment to us here with five minutes and 25 seconds to go. A lot of road matches coming up for the Golden Suns volleyball team. They'll be at Henderson State, 6.30 p.m. Tuesday, and then next Thursday at Harding. Golden Suns will not return to Tucker Coliseum for another volleyball match until Thursday, September 22nd. It was a block in the back against East Central, so they'll just tack 10 yards onto the end of the play, and the That's Wonder great. Boys will start from their own 39. Yeah, block in the back by the kicking team. Don't see that too often. No, you don't. That's probably a little bit of frustration. And now we will see the Arkansas Tech debut for Hunter Lloyd, a quarterback out of Rogers, Arkansas, who spent two years in the purple and gray down at Conway, but he has seen the light and come to join us here in Russellville now. He will make his Arkansas Tech debut. Lloyd hands off on first down. And running left with the football for a gain of two up to the 41 yard line. It, it did was, go, yeah. go ahead there. It did go final. Washita 45, Southern Nazarene zero. Tyler Day was the ball carrier there for Arkansas Tech, 6'3", 245, a sophomore out of Little Rock by way of Itawamba Community College in Mississippi. His gain of two makes it second down and eight. Other new faces in the game for Arkansas Tech. Will Stegall is in at wide receiver. He's in the slot right. Hunter Lloyd hands it off again to Day. Tyler Day running left. He's going to be forced out of bounds at his own 49-yard line. Should be enough for a Fleet Tire Point S first down. It would be the 19th first down of the game for Arkansas Tech. All of those coming since the beginning of the second quarter. And Arkansas Tech was held without a first down in that opening period. But once this Arkansas Tech offense got on track and then once the Wonder Boys defense started forcing turnovers, everything tilted toward Arkansas Tech's advantage. The Wonder Boys have been in firm control of this game throughout the fourth quarter, beginning with that 16-yard touchdown run by Deion Simmons at the 13-27 mark of the fourth quarter. That made it 28-6, and then that 19-yard touchdown pass from Tay Gatewood to Matthew Rivera that made it 35-6. Now it's 35-13. Tyler Day once again on the carry on first and 10 from his own 49. He advances the football into East Central territory. They've got him down at the 49 with a gain of two. Henderson State 49, Northwest Oklahoma 14. That's the end of the third quarter. Antonio Ruiz is also in the game at wide receiver for Arkansas Tech. And then on the near side of the field, it's Brandon Hunter. Second down and eight. Hunter Lloyd at quarterback on in relief of Tay Gatewood, who threw for three touchdowns and ran for another here tonight, leading Arkansas Tech to this victory. 
East Central very much ready for the running play by Corbin Humphrey there. Humphrey also a transfer from that place in Conway where they like to wear purple and gray. And they stop Humphrey for a loss of one back to the 50-yard line, and there's an injured wonder boy on the play. While they tend to the injured wonder boy here with three minutes and 13 seconds to go in Arkansas Tech leading 35 to 13, here in the Alathus Realty broadcast booth, we take a 30-second break. This is Wonder Boys Football. Taking care of families. That's what the folks at C&D Drugstore have been doing in historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades when it comes to all your pharmaceutical needs. When it comes to compounding special medicines, R.D. Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, if you need curbside pickup, you need C&D Drugstore on the corner of B and Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60-year tradition. Three minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Arkansas Tech 35, East Central 13. The Wonder Boys will even their record at 1-1. One and one. East Central will fall to 0-2 on the year. And Kelly, now you look ahead to a big matchup next Saturday night with Washita Baptist. They like to talk about measuring stick games. That is very much of a measuring stick game, Coach Ship has said. And I've seen a lot of evidence the first two games of the season that he feels like this group is ready to compete with anybody in this conference. And, I think he can. And when you say you're ready to compete with anybody, that includes Washita. Uh, They've been the class of the league for uh, a decade. Absolutely. They sure have. And I tell you what, if, if you look back over the last two to three years, Sam, you know, the Wonder Boys have been the closest to Washita as far as competing score-wise, you know, than anybody else in the league. So hats on. Maybe this could be the year that we, uh, if we play, play right, no mistakes, no turnovers. We have a chance. The injured wonder boy was Larry Clark. He was able to leave the field without assistance, so hopefully that's a good sign. We hit three minutes to go. Hunter Lloyd is the quarterback. On in mop-up duty here as the wonder boys put this one away. Lloyd fakes the handoff, rolls to his right, still rolling, throwing, and just had to throw that one away as there was nothing there. And on fourth down and nine, we will see the punt unit for Arkansas Tech. East Central will get it back with two minutes and 46 seconds remaining. And Arkansas Tech leading by a score of 35 to 13. It looks like Harding is gradually pulling away from Southeast Oklahoma. It's 24 to seven right now, 12.09 to go in the third quarter. Aaron Wynn on to punt it away for Arkansas Tech. He waits at his own 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage is the Tech 49. Good snap. Hunt is away. Nice end over end kickoff. Fair catch called for and made by Laquan Wells. And East Central will begin most likely its final possession of the game from its own eight-yard line with 238 to play and Arkansas Tech leading by a score of 35 to 13. This will be the Wonder Boys' first win over East After Central since line. October 28, 2017. The Wonder Boys won that game almost five years ago in Ada, 38 to 10. The last time the Wonder Boys beat East Central here in Russellville was a 55 to 14 victory on October 15th of 2016. So it's been almost six years since the Wonder Boys have celebrated a home win over East Central, but they will do so tonight. Kenny Hearns here on first down, throws short of his intended target on the far side of the field. Looking for Josh Little, but coming up short, and it'll be second down and 10 for the Tigers from their own eight-yard line. If you want to go ahead and secure your tickets for that Arkansas tech Washita Baptist game next Saturday night, you can do so right now by going to ArkansasTechSports.com slash tickets. All online ticketing now for Arkansas Tech home athletic events, and so much more convenient. You can just go ahead and get those tickets right now and make plans to be with us next Saturday night at 6 p.m. here at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field. Pass complete to the near side. Reception made by Ryan Franklin off the Kenny Hearn Sear pass. And they will spot him down at the 18-yard line, which is just enough for an East Central first down. Clock rolling, 2.15 to play. Hearn Sear in the shotgun. Takes the snap, 
Ernsier has time. Now the pocket collapsing, so he rolls to his left on the run, throws. It is caught, but was he inbounds? Yes, he was. Yep, Penalty flag a, is down. Probably a hold. Probably so. In the area of holding. We'll see what the referee yeah, has for us. The flag on the play. It is holding, and the Wonder Boys will accept the penalty. Washington Wouldn't? moves to 2-0 and in the season. Looks like Harding may possibly move to 2-0. and <laughs> UA Monticello, they're scoring a lot of points. They can move to 2-0. and Southeastern Oklahoma State only has seven points tonight, and there's some early evidence that this Harding defense, they've been good on yeah. defense for a number of years. There's, there's some early evidence that this Harding defense this year may be on a, a new level altogether. Uh, talking to Coach Schiff, he said probably could be the best defense Harding's had in a long, long time. And that's saying something because they've had one of the best defenses in the country for a number of years now. Hernsier throws to the near side. Catch made by Laquan Wells. Pass complete to number 10, Laquan and Wells, Wells is out of bounds at the 17-yard line. At the 17-yard line. After the penalty a moment ago, it is now second down and 11 for the Tigers. With one minute and 39 seconds to go. Hernsier from the shotgun. He's now 20 of 41, passing for 171 yards. Throws toward the near side and two to all for his intended receiver. Pass. It'll bring oh, up third down complete. and 11 for the Tigers. For Jordan and it'll be time for this East Central group. They'll have to go back and regroup. This is a team that has a lot of returnees from a seven and four team from a year ago. I'm sure they came into the year with Three high expectations. But they will start 0 and 2. And we'll try to regroup as they head into week three. Hearns here, throws, broken up, intended for Greg Howell. Broken up for Arkansas Tech University. He's throwing in the towel, Sam. Over on the far side of the field. We're going to send in the punt team. It was Isaac Davis who broke it up. The Tigers will indeed wave the white flag here. On fourth and 11 from their own 17-yard line. Adam Cousins back deep in return position. But his only goal here, I'm sure, will be to make a fair catch and then allow the Wonder Boys to run out the clock. The punt by Reese Connor is fair caught by Arkansas Tech's Adam Cousins at his own 45 yard line. A 38 yard punt by Reese Connor. And now it'll just be a matter of a couple of kneel downs and time to celebrate and time to run down to the south end zone and sing the fight song with the Arkansas Tech Marching Band. Always a happy moment for the Wonder Boys when they get to do that. How come they've never invited you and me to go sing? Well, there's a lot of reasons for that. A, we're too old and slow to get down there to the end zone. They'd all be home by the time we got there. That's one thing. And then B, there's the, the obvious implication that you're making that we can't sing, which is, which is true. Very, very true. But the, the larger issue is we'd never make it in time. New quarterback in the game for Arkansas Tech, Jack Grissom. Grissom hands it off on first down. The ball carrier for Arkansas Tech is Jayton Taylor. Jayton Taylor, a senior from Dallas, Texas. Jayton is a transfer from a place that is abbreviated SAGU. I know a lot of universities. I, mean, I can't, I've yet to be able to figure out. I have to do some research on what SAGU stands for. I'll, I'll try to figure that out before next week. We'll see. Jack Grissom takes a look at the play clock. This will be the final snap of the game. I would help you, but I'm too tired to Google it. I understand. You know you're too tired to, to you know you're tired when you're too tired to Google. Jayton Taylor runs it straight ahead over the 50 Jayton and into East Central there. territory. And that'll be the end of the ball game. And what a performance here tonight by this Arkansas Tech football team. Complimentary football, the defense the setting up the offense, four. the offense taking advantage of those opportunities. And for the first time since 2016, the Wonder Boys have won a home game against East Central University. The Wonder Boys are one and one going into a showdown with Washita Baptist next Saturday night here at Thone oh, Stadium know, at Burkle Field. Our final score tonight final is Arkansas Tech 35, 35 East Central 13 in the Alathus Realty broadcast 13. booth. We take a one minute break and then come back to wrap it up 
Wonder Boys win. This is Arkansas Tech football. A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees, products, and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damage to equipment, stained ceilings, and walls, and don't let Mother Nature do the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479-272-4069. At Fleet Tire Point S, the S stands for service, selection, and savings. Fleet Tire knows the importance of the handshake and the significance of a referral that will never change. At Fleet Tire Point S, you'll still find the same local owner's friendly service and guarantees on warranties. Fleet Tire Point S consistently offers unparalleled service and quality tires to fit every budget because you, the customer, are always a top priority at Fleet Tire Point S. So come by today and experience the Fleet Tire Point S difference. No stress with Point S. Here are the final numbers from a 35 to 13 Arkansas Tech victory tonight over East Central University. The Wonder Boys had 322 yards of total offense. East Central with 301 yards of total offense. The Wonder Boys had 157 passing yards and 165 rushing yards. East Central 179 yards through the air, 122 rushing yards. East Central was penalized seven times for 72 yards. A number of those coming on occasions that really halted Tigers' drives and took away some scoring opportunities. Arkansas Tech only four penalties for 40 yards tonight. East Central had 22 first downs. Arkansas Tech with 19 Fleet Tire Point S first downs in the game. The Wonder Boys were two out of 10 on third down conversion tries. East Central eight of 18 in that category. Arkansas Tech four out of four on red zone scoring opportunities. East Central just two of five in that category. The Wonder Boys scored 14 points off turnovers. East Central scored zero points off of the two turnovers that it forced. The Wonder Boys were plus one on the turnover margin. East Central had the football for 35 minutes and 56 seconds, but a lot of the, that time of possession led to either penalties that stalled drives or turnovers that the Wonder Boys then converted into points. And that was the difference in this game. Really, if you went back and looked at the two key plays in the game, it was that 50-yard interception return late in the first half and the 75-yard interception return in the second half, both of which led to Arkansas Tech touchdowns. And those were probably the two plays of the game, one by Jordan Furch and one by Javon Love. And those really two huge plays in this football game and leading to the Arkansas Tech victory here tonight. Some of the individual leaders first for East Central, Kenny Hearns here completed 20 of 43 passes for 179 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. Namir Herod had 13 carries for 61 yards and Miles Davis with 14 carries for 54 yards for the Tigers. The East Central receiving core led by Laquan Wells. He had five catches, but just for 13 yards. Jackson McFarland had four catches for 35 yards. Greg Howell, two catches for 43 yards. Miles Davis, three receptions for 31 yards. Uh, the offensive leaders for Arkansas Tech individually, Tay Gatewood completed 13 of 23 passes for 157 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. He had a passer rating tonight of 156.9. And the Arkansas Tech rushing attack, Gatewood also had a rushing touchdown, so he accounted for four of the Wonder Boys' five touchdowns tonight. The other touchdown scored on a run by Deion Simmons. Devontae Dean had 10 carries for 58 yards. Keon Simmons with six carries for 40 yards. The Arkansas Tech receiving core led by Matthew Rivera with four catches for 39 yards and a touchdown. Jordan Eddington and also Travis Toby also had touchdown receptions tonight for Arkansas Tech. Adam Cousins had a big 37-yard reception that led to a touchdown drive for Arkansas Tech. Defensive leaders in the ball game as we switch screens here on the live stats. First for East Central, Devon Roush had six tackles, as, as did Cody Alexander. For Arkansas Tech, it was Christian Cole with 10 tackles tonight. Matthew Minix credited with eight tackles in the game. Then it was Kevin Carlton with six tackles. And then as we look over to that turnover column. It was Jordan Furch with the interception. It was Javon Love with an interception. It was Stanley Bentley with a forced fumble in the ball game, and also the Wonder Boys with one fumble recovery tonight, and that 
those three turnovers, Kelly, figured very prominently in this 35-13 to 13 oh, win. I think East Central can go back and look and see that those turnovers may have cost them this ball game. <clears throat> you know, because that first, first quarter, first half, they were very competitive. They were running, passing, doing everything they wanted to against this Tech defense. But every, every time, stumbled their foot. Interception, fumble, interception. But we'll take it. <laughs> I think we'll take it. I mean, it's been ha I mean, it's happened to us, you know, for the last few years where we've shot ourselves in the foot. And even going back to our first game this year. Yep. You know, a couple of turnovers, uh, letting them have a kickoff return for a touchdown. You know, things like that add up. And you go back and look at film and you say, gosh, we should have won that game. But we just didn't take care of two or three or four plays throughout, throughout the night. Comes back to get you, doesn't it? And I know somebody who sure would have enjoyed that one. They won, oh, they, yeah. they, they won one for the killer. They did. I appreciate that. This one's for you, Dad. Our final score tonight from Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville, the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys 35 and the East Central Tigers 13. We want to send along special thanks to the Sports Information Departments and Athletics Communications Offices at these two institutions, especially Daniel Gallegos, Taylor Gomez, and all of the great folks here at Arkansas Tech University, along with Eric Moyer of the Great American Conference. They provided us with all of the facts and figures we were able to share with you tonight. Could not have done it without them. We also thank uh, Ryan Taylor, who jumped in here at the end uh, with a text message. You don't have to wait until next week to solve that mystery of what does SAGU stand for. It stands for Southwest Assembly of God University. So we thank my friend and colleague Ryan Taylor for solving that mystery for us on that uh, transfer question that we had a few minutes ago. We thank John Henderson, who did a great job, as always, as our chief studio engineer. We thank the many sponsors who make it possible. And thanks to you for listening on what has been a great day at Arkansas Tech University, the first home game of the season, the introduction of the next campus ambassador at Arkansas Tech University, Jerry Charles Young II, a great party at the Plaza tailgating, and all capped off by a Wonder Boys win. And we hope that you will join us when we have our next broadcast of Arkansas Tech Athletics on River Valley Radio, as it'll be the Wonder Boys hosting the nationally ranked Washita Baptist Tigers tailgating begins on the Crayball Hall lawn at 3 p.m. next Saturday. It is open to absolutely anyone. Come join us, have a good time, and get ready for some football next Saturday night, 6 p.m. kickoff here at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field. That means pregame coverage right here on River Country, KCJC, and ArkansasTechSports.com will begin at 5.30 p.m. next Saturday night. For my broadcast partner, Kelly Davis, and for the man we dedicated tonight's broadcast to his dad, the late Billy Jean Davis, I'm Sam Strasner reminding you that Jerry says, fight on. So long, everybody. Arkansas Tech Sports.